All right, I'm recording. All right, welcome back to Now You're Playing With Podcast Episode 22. This is part two of our top 101 games of all time countdown. Uh, this episode, we're going to go from number 75 to number 51. Uh, the nice thing about this countdown is we had different guests on each of these countdown segments. So this time around, we're going to be joined by Jen and Chris, who have never been on the show, but they've been to our Hexadecathlons, as well as Heather, who was, I don't think she was on our show either. I think this is her first appearance. And then my wife, Linda, is going to be a guest on this one as well. Uh, real quick, uh, we had a survey handed out at Korg's and through our Facebook page uh, of asking people to give us our top 25 games. Uh, we compiled a list of the top 101 out of that. Uh, we had some VIP votes from our former guests. Uh, go down that list real quick. Corey, uh, Jesse. Corey was a former guest. Jesse, the owner of Arcade Legacy in Cincinnati. S1500, the host of Classic Console Gamer News podcast. Ferg, the host of 2600 Game by Game podcast. Nicole, the mastermind at puregeekery.net blog. Uh, Stan and Amy from Electric Frankfurter blog. Thomas Green, the editor of Joe Gagne's Funtime Wrestling Arcade on YouTube. John Hancock, uh, organizer of Callet's Gamers for Kids convention in Washington State. Ben Mullen, uh, Tetris champ, former guest on our show. Mike Lawrence, a stand-up comedian and host of the Nerd of Mouth podcast. Rick Weiss, uh, he's the organizer of Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, Scott, who's a former guest on our show. UK Mike, one of the hosts of Retro Gaming Roundup. And Focus RS, the host of Arcade USA on YouTube. So, um, with all of that, anything you want to add, Tatton? Uh, no, I think you got it covered. All right. Well, I, the only thing I do is I'll apologize for all the Final Fantasy talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on with the show. Now you're playing with podcast. <laughs> so we're back for part two. Number 75 through 51, and this time we got a different crew. So I'm Chris. We'll go uh, clockwise. And I'm Tatton. Uh, this is Becky. Uh, this is Heather. I am also Chris. This is Jen. Linda. Steve. So what should, what should we call this, Chris? Because this isn't Pinball Chris. No, it's not Pinball week. Chris. So, it's not uh, now you're too playing many Chris's in the world. There are too many. Do we just want to call you Now You're Playing With Chris? Oh my, Chris! How about, how about, Wait, what's your how about Yobo? Yobo's fine. Yobo is Yobo. All right, Yobo. 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 Yobo, Chris. Yobo. I'll never Yobo remember Chris. that. And Yojo from was it Mobile Yobo? Yobo the um, the like Nintendo. Or no, that's what D backs hashtag their tweets with. Yolo. Yolo. Yobo is a Chinese company that re-released the. They re-released hardware for the Nintendo and also did. I thought that was for us by us. No, I thought that was the tiny little lizard Mario. You only bite who wants. You only binge once. I don't know. All right, number seventy-five. Getting right along. Castlevania. Winner, winner. Castlevania NES. NES Castlevania. Dude. Wait, hold on. Could it technically be the MSX version? Because I've never heard the, the music from the MSX. MSX. Who would have fucking voted for the MSX version? <laughs> Darren. Darren. Mm-hmm. Did we get a list from Darren? I don't. I think he no. submitted one at voted the at, at the show, and I don't have his card separate from everybody else's. Oh, oh gotcha. gotcha. Um, mm-hmm. But they were all NES votes, so no. Yeah. Uh, uh, by, by the way, if you're keeping score, uh, th- these games have five votes each. At this point, I'll tell you when we jump to six votes. Uh, there's got to be Castlevanias above this, but this is the first one. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be at least one. Did we did we merge any of the Castlevanias, or we left Castlevanias as a? Like, I don't in, think anybody voted for Castlevania two or three. I don't think so either. Let me look at okay. my. I, I didn't. She's here. Castlevania, mm-hmm. Castlevania. I'm not playing Castlevania, 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 so I don't remember because it wasn't important enough for me to vote on. I guess. No, they're a good series. Yeah, Castlevania is. Yeah. No, I mean like in the in the big um, discussion. Oh, the Castlevania I, Four is game number one hundred and two, actually. But oh, oh, Super oh, Castlevania yeah, Four. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 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 Just outside of the top one hundred. For the wow. Super NES, it's a wonderful game, but the one on the NES is also really good. Castlevania Three got two votes. Oh. Oh, it's a very two got the music, one vote. The music is okay. wonderful from that. We have the autograph of Kinuo Yamashita. Yeah, Kinuo Yamashita. Yamashita. Um, 
she did other she did a couple other soundtracks but if do you guys know the cool thing about all of the the scrolling at the at the end when she beat the game Mm-mm. they're throwbacks to classic movie monsters and the people who play the parts yeah they're all like puns oh. of like, so like christopher uh, instead of christopher lee it's christopher you know, it's, oh. i have never b. been in the game it's I'm christopher b right, right yeah but it's actually like it's throwbacks to all of them but none of the uh, the real like people who worked on it you don't know any of their names it doesn't say any of them like the the composer's christopher b <laughs> so the <laughs> question is, is did anybody in this room actually beat this game no no i nope. haven't i've it's, played um far into symphony of the night but not the first one you you I get got thrown like, back when you get hit in this one. That's always yes. a problem in uh, Castlevania. Because, you, first of all, you move so slowly, you get stuck on the stairs mm-hmm. all the time. And you can't birds. swim. The birds of doom, like typical yeah. NES birds of doom. Well, yeah, NES. What's with birds on the NES? I should have like, played the death sound like I did with Ninja Gaiden in part one. Yeah. So, yeah, this game always seemed a little bit... I, I didn't really get into Castlevania until a lot later. It just seemed more mature than Mario because it's more right. methodical, more scary. Uh, I rented it back in the day, so I only got very. I didn't. Incredibly I popular, it. though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And it did a really good job of like setting a very like that dark kind of ambiance to it. I mean, it, mm-hmm. it felt like you were you know like in a scary oh, place. And, it yeah. didn't use yeah. the same color palettes that everything else used, so it was kind of a darker color palette. A lot of gray. The music was wonderful. They did a wonderful, wonderful job on the music. The whole series. I think that's kind of the first Konami game that really had that kick-ass soundtrack right. too. Well, it, it, kind of that early in the NES too, lifespan. Like it shows you where you're yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Where it's, like it's you go from thing Castlevania to thing. Castlevania 2 being really, really good. Yeah, and that's the one thing from Castlevania 2. Like, I remember my friend playing it and... Um, gameplay, yeah, there was a tornado or something that you had to, like, kneel to get or some shit like that. But other than that, like, the music, that's the one thing that sticks with me. And that the music was so wonderful in those games. And you didn't need, you didn't need an orchestra. Like, this is the soundtrack of my childhood is, you know, stuff that was on the answers. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Well, yeah, and it's, you know, not even sophisticated synthesizers, like... It's, it's the, the old gray box because I'm a Nintendo fan. <laughs> Definite classic. Uh, I'm glad it's on the list. Okay, 74. This is just a sound effect. Any guesses? Silent Hill? Guess? Resident no. Evil? Resident Evil. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew it sounded oh, yeah. familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. I kind of wanted to get that door opening sound, but I couldn't find, like, an isolated sound effect of just the door opening because mm-hmm. that's kind of, like, the most thing I remember from that. So the, the door, screens. okay, so it is, it is a limitation of the system. But, okay, because they're loading the next screen, mm-hmm. and it takes forever to load this pre-rendered screen. And also it's, it's black because it can't – it's a 3D door, but – it has enough detail that they can't draw anything else around it, I think. And, but it works because it's the type of game it is. The limitation makes it scary. The yes, it, it sets up the, the mood. Door. Yeah. 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 Well, you so get that impression that you're going through a door and you won't which see Which one is this for? Yeah. Well, I think we added a vote is for... PlayStation and GameCube. Saturn? No, PlayStation GameCube. Uh, uh, four four votes Saturn. for PlayStation, one vote for the GameCube remake. I think Steve voted for that one. Yeah, that was my and vote. And then we and decided to combine the two because we wanted okay. Castlevania or Resident Evil no, on the list. And no Saturn. Yeah. Like Saturn, there was there were differences between because it was the Saturn one, the one with the awful voice acting. They both. Oh no! no. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, they're they're all pretty, the same. pretty much the same. Think, and then they came out with something called Resident Evil Director's Cut, which they yeah. said yeah. would be the director's cut. It's called that, but it was just the same censored movie. You had to get this disc called like Wesker's Report that came with Code Veronica to actually see the original movie ever. Like Who's I guess Veronica? you can see it on. <laughs> yeah, I I liked uh, Veronica. I think. Uh, it was on uh, Dreamcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But we're talking the first one. Yeah, here. First one. I don't this know. is just the first one. This is not a merge really, of the whole series. So I guess I really going back to the first one. I I, I can't love, believe it's not on my list. I actually, love <laughs> the first one. <laughs> would you would you play it on? Huh. Uh, PlayStation. Absolutely adored it. One yes. of my mm-hmm. favorite yeah. games I've ever played. Um, I, I liked everything about it. And when I played it back then, I really didn't notice the cheesy. Uh, Dialogue like it's Jill, the master of locks, uh, lock um, picking. And, how old were you? Uh, I can't remember. It was what ninety six when yeah. it came out? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, you were almost I was born in eighty three, so about like thirteen. <laughs> so yeah, you you weren't yeah. cognizant of. But it works though because it's and it's it was, a cheesy B movie. Right. It was and kind of not, a, that's not the 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 gameplay is what matters. I kind of wish they would go it. back to cheesy B movie. I, I would actually like to have a revival of the mid nineties video games 
live action. You mean yes. they didn't use live action they 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 with even the bad the acting and the CGI actors, the shitty CGI behind yeah. them with the green screens and the. Well, and I like, think that's why we I ended up playing them so much because at that point. My friends and I were renting games, and I had a PlayStation, and then my friend had a Dreamcast, and we were renting Resident Evil and, you know, the sequels and, you know, Parasite Eve and Silent Hill and stuff like that. And one person would play, and everybody else would just sit and watch. Like, it was a yeah, bad, yeah, yeah. 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 sport. Yeah. 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 Similar yeah. experience. So, you know, and then there would be the, you know, thing pops out, and everybody screams. <laughs> so, and it was... Fun. Got to talk about the dogs jumping out the window. Well, oh, yeah. the, the, the dog servers. jumping yeah. into the window. Okay, so yeah, I've got to say oh, yeah. the absolute <laughs> scariest experience I've ever had. Uh, playing a game with someone else. We were sitting in my best friend's basement. Um, he had the old console TV, so it was the old, you know, wood, you know, paneling on the side and all of that. The I guess the the green tube had gone out and the blue tube had gone out. <laughs> it was just red. <laughs> we were playing Resident Evil in the dark in red, oh and boy. then the dogs jumped through the window. And That's it was just like yeah. And, okay, uh, yeah, it's towards the, the beginning of the game, so I'm, you I'm it's a weird control, control right scheme, so you still yeah. are not quite aware of how to play. Mm-hmm. So you're like, oh my god, I have to turn around. I don't know how to shoot. <laughs> yeah, I gotta run. Was the whole yeah. turn around where yeah. you, turn, you, you have to like rotate yeah, like your tank. individual later it's games, later games auto ever aim for you, to turn. which makes it a lot easier. Yeah. The first, the original first Resident Evil does not auto aim. No, the right. cut no, no. I'll yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you're gonna do it, you gotta, you gotta. Yeah, that little Maybe shuffle, later. that little, you know, yeah. there's something coming, but you just like, shh, yeah. yeah. You had to pause yeah. it to see yeah. how, how well you were doing because you, you didn't show any damage on yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you had yeah. to check yeah. the, the screen. But Every pause hit, screen. pause. People talk about, like, the inspirations for these, for Resident Evil, but to me, it just was fully formed a new genre. Like, yeah. You know, yeah, I was, like was going to say that. This is the first, it was the first game in a completely new. Yes style of game. Yeah, hard, it, hard. It like the, 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 the yeah. maturation yeah. video games weren't just for kids anymore. This yeah. show this proved it. I mean they was specifically mm-hmm. marketed as horror for grown ups or late teenagers oh, or yeah. something. It d- tripled my interest in video games it, it was because of Resident Evil. On right. PlayStation yeah. well, like what a great yeah. first game to see. I kind of yeah. felt like it immediately followed this time where and I don't know if you guys had a similar experience but uh, when the Genesis came out, um, especially with Mortal Kombat, like there was this time where gore and blood was cool, and so like the yeah, gore cartoonish and the bloodier it was, the more amazing it was. The game could have been total garbage, but if it had blood and gore, oh yeah, it's the like, best thing we ever done. Like it's the best Dragons. thing we ever played. Yeah, <laughs> and then like um, the SNES was just you know very clean, very. Well, like clean versions of everything, so like we were gravitating towards Genesis, and uh, and then Resident Evil came. We're like, this is so amazing. There's zombies, and like, yeah. uh, you know, you can shoot them in the head, and things like that. That that, that was very appealing. It kind of sparked the zombie craze too, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, think it has to be put, part of yeah, it. Put down the seeds at the very like least. Like they said that George Romero was going to make a movie of it originally. Um, he, yeah, he was. He'd be the one to, to do the, it. The Resident Evil movie. I think he directed a Japanese ad. For the game too, something like he was connected with Resident Evil pretty heavily for a while. So he came back to do zombie stuff pretty much because of Resident Evil, I, so. uh, which is fine. And enjoy your zombies. I'll stay the hell away <laughs> from all of that. I love zombies. Oh, but I just gonna say the, the remake. Know, but they're dead. I, 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 um, I, I, I like the cool. the game They had faces. Is just the and they had they faces. They probably had cats. They don't have faces of, anymore. Of, uh, <laughs> they probably graphics. Eat graphics. The cats. They, yeah, the, there's the cats are gone, Becky. The cats are gone. <laughs> you can't see my face, but it's sad face. <laughs> all right, now I just have to ask. I don't want to derail us too far, but um, have any of you guys played the uh, the House of the Dead Overkill? No. Yes. No. I've heard of it. I played you know, House of the Dead. That's the one we played on the Wii. With the, oh, isn't right, that the yes. one with the American flag they, when you kill it. like so oh, many yeah. American 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 Yes. Yeah. Oh, with the 70s? Yes. What's it take to pacify? Yeah. What's it take to pacify up? Mm-hmm. So is that the kind of, like, B-movie remake kind of thing that you like to see from Resident Evil? Like, to... Not like kind of the, grind ha- the grindhouse feel? Well, and that's yeah. The thing. yeah. I don't know that that's quite the same, because if you take horror movies now, they're, all the horror movies now are like, we're so serious, and it's real, and oh my god, real. Everybody but in the, the in the 90s, like... 
Johnny Depp was sucked into a bed and then blood was yeah, vomited right. all over the, the fountain of blood. Like, yeah. honestly, that's what we've, we no longer see. We have to have this realism. Take it away and all make it All the humor has been sucked right. out. It's, it's without any whimsy. Mm-hmm. To, to whip it back around the Resident Evil... I like the Resident Evil movie. So good. It's oh the movie oh the uh, actual movie. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No 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 no. It it is ridiculous and I don't that care. No. I it's like a, it. Yeah. And Something. and I think and it's hilarious because people complain about it because oh, it's not a horror movie whatever and I'm just like. It's not supposed to be a horror movie. Have you played the game? The game is ridiculous. Yeah, really. but at the time, it was really scary. I mean, because there wasn't was, anything to it compare it to. It, it's Yeah, you go back now after playing, um, I don't know, something genuinely scary. Like uh, some of the Silent Hill stuff, you know, the stuff that kicked it up a notch. And yeah, it, Resident Evil is ridiculous. But at the time, it really was very scary. Well, it was it scary, was. but I still remember thinking at There's the time playing it game. that it was a yeah, little so. bit ridiculous. I mean, we still laughed at it a lot. Well, yeah. at least I did. Yeah. I mean, because when did when, when did you say it came out? 96? 95 yeah. or 96. So I was already 22, so I was in my, you know... Jaded, angsty, pseudo hipster. <laughs> Stay, but I, I think I think it can be. There humor. weren't hipsters then; they hadn't invented them yet. But it was back Wait, when humor and horror could still be the was... same, same place. But I remember yeah. playing it to be a hipster and being scared when the dogs <laughs> jumped through the window. But then when also cool making <laughs> fun at the cheesiness of the oh game yeah, the too. horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the actors at the beginning of the game are just like the only American actors they had around in Tokyo <laughs> that day. <laughs> they you found know. some tourists at the McDonald's in Tokyo. Yeah, their their acting skills are just you know totally Shakespeare. You speak clearly. Come into my office for four <laughs> hours and read these lines. Well, that was pretty much any PlayStation game back then. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I, like, I don't know the voice actors well, but you know, those, can... all those Sega CD games. Yeah, that, outside that's of like got some yeah. notoriously awesomely awful acting. I mean, uh, it was like what David yeah. Hayter was the first one. I think for I think he was the voice of um, Snake in Metal, Metal Gear. Gear. I think that was the first mm-hmm. one that's like they actually got tried? a good <laughs> voice for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah tried, this person they tried. Yeah, yeah, they it's always like you know someone's cousin. Or... Like, hey, you want to make fifty bucks and read some things off a of script? Got like, Mega Man Eight has the worst the two. No, I think oh, um, make, is that eight? Yeah, Minnesota Fats Pool Master. No, yeah, there's this um, <laughs> Pool Legend uh, uh, Thousand Arms for the PlayStation has this like. Like you come from like a lineage of pigs or something like that, yeah. and it's like it's like they must just like read it word for yeah. word individually, not even as a sentence, and ugh, so horrible. Or the uh, we, we got plenty Vampire of opportunity Night. to make fun of shitty of voice. You've been taught yeah. it phonetically, and they're just making believe. sounds, and they don't even there's, know where the information, the inflections go. There's an element of so the, uh, oh, go ahead. Resident yeah. Evil that uh, we didn't really discuss either, because when you started out, you don't know what the zombies are. You don't know what's happening, and that whole feeling of just unknown was also kind of terrifying. You didn't know it was mm-hmm. anything with a lab, because when you start off, you're oh, yeah. in a house. This is this could be spirits, it could be demons, evil, whatever. You have no idea. And so, like, this is kind of like a puzzle you're putting together as you're playing the game, and you find out through files... Uh, I think there's one notorious file you find out a closet, which... Uh, Itchy tasty. There you go. Exactly. That's yes. exactly what it is. And that was part of the horror of the original that I really liked. Is, uh, you see that slide just, uh, of the tyrant? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I haven't seen that yeah. yet. Is um, it the sense of discovery? Yeah. yeah. The, when they had the very the first zombie reveal, it was also two, really... Though. Yeah, I, I was... Way, uh, one is way better than two. I I've never played any of them. Oh. I don't remember... Two was just... Linear. It was very. It was too polished. I remember the, fire yeah. in that one, and then I remember seeing. I think there were zombie dogs, and I was like, "I'm done. I don't need to watch this anymore." Because no. It was two the one where you like after the first one? There's the yeah. two way mirror, yeah, really, and you like you're looking through the two way mirror, and you can kind of see through it, and like a spider jumps out, like a zombie spider. A zombie spider. Oh yeah, yes. I yeah. something. It's like a a, a liquor jumps out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the liquor. They were making one, and they were almost done with it. And they scrapped it and rebuilt the whole game. Oh, that's probably what I'm thinking To make of. it a bigger story. So my my, my brother, um, I'm, I'm going to stop calling him his nickname. I think I need to change that permanently. But um, I've called him Idiot Boy for long enough that it's just <laughs> part of my wonder. vernacular. Um, so uh, 
if you beat Resident Evil 2 within two hours and 30 minutes, it unlocks an alternate ending and other stuff. The tofu oh, yeah. adventure? I yes. 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 So he, tofu. Beat, he beat the game every single day when he came home from school. And he got progressively better and better at the time. And once he got two hours and 31 minutes, he dropped the controller, and he hasn't beaten it since. Uh, <laughs> he was done. Two hours and 31 so, uh, minutes, and it was probably like his 15th time. Not, not, to, not to kill your mood, but uh, there are other games in the Resident Evil series ahead of this one. So. Uh, really? Oh. Spoiler. Oh, spoiler. Spoiler alert or preview. Now or... that we've trashed Resident Evil 2, that's probably the one. <laughs> 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 well, we're not that's number, number 73, one. Resident <laughs> Evil 2. <laughs> yeah. Who's Veronica? <laughs> I don't know any Veronica. Quick, everybody remember all these jokes for when it comes back up again. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Tofu. Just edit it back in later. <laughs> 73. DDR. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. I played this at GameWorks. Not, yeah, for the first time in Easton. I, I would to, never play this in public. Yeah, I used to watch people play uh, it at Easton. One, we, oh, I've seen wonderful videos I, of Tatton. I, I yes. Yes. I, I love this game. I played around with it a little bit, um, and... Um, just because it was fun, and we got a mat, and and it was just fun to do, and you know, have a little like physicality or whatever. Um, and there were a couple cool '80s songs on there that made me giggle. Um, <laughs> but then I went to well, where were we? Like a David Buster's or something? Same difference. Um, I think it was like one of the first times I met you. <laughs> And I like come walking around the corner, and I'm like, "Damn, look at that guy on the DDR!" And I'm like, "Wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> I don't wait, she, Jesus!" And I just had to stand there and watch, and I was shamed. You yeah, tear it up, do you? I I like DDR a lot. It's I mean, and this was actually this was on my list. I this like is one of my DDR. favorites. Her, 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 it, period. Like, it's yeah. it's one of those games that's incredibly simple. It's very easy to learn. I mean, there's yeah. not you know you don't have like you know a controller, sixteen buttons, whatever. It's just up, down, left, and right, and then With just your coordinating yeah. yourself to like to make that choo, happen. Choo, I mean, choo. it's really, I mean, it's super easy, and they did a fantastic job of making this game accessible and hard and engaging. And the soundtrack is great. Like, I really, I mean, this really, I think for me, ignited the rhythm game genre. Like, I think this oh, was yeah. like the first yeah. one that I really like that. made rhythm games something. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you see it everywhere. And then there was even like what was it, King of the Hill? Yeah. Oh, Dansu? <laughs> I like love whole that. Episode. So cute. For, for the record, um, we got three votes, or we got Dance Dance Revolution, two votes for the arcade original, two votes for DDR Extreme, and one vote for DDR Supernova 2. So mm-hmm. we just decided to combine them all because... Yeah, it's it, it it different soundtrack, yeah. same, same control scheme. Yeah. Uh, same really. storyline. Same storyline. <laughs> story <laughs> same narrative. Different song options. <laughs> Boss levels are exactly Ted, the same. Ted, did you ever used to play with the eight panels? Uh, you could play yes. every song with yes, eight there's, panels. Yes, there's there's videos of him doing that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was um, fun. Yeah, there was uh, there was a time that Chris and I got uh, some free passes and like took the video camera, and, like recorded ourselves playing games. No, and recorded then, uh, you playing that one. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> recorded me playing no that one. No way in hell you'd see me playing that. But yeah, I used to. I could um, I could do doubles Afro Nova on hard. I could Good. do doubles um, uh, B two U. No, no, no. Um, Oh, Dynamite Rave. I could do doubles Dynamite Rave on hard. I could yeah. do uh, Step Step Revolution. I could do, like, a handful of Step Step, Re- Step Step Revolution songs. I could, like, turn around backwards on one of them. Yeah. Um, the, oh, the Earth, Wind, and Fire song. Oh, I do not remember. It's in third mix. Um, September? I could do that one perfect. Oh. I don't so, know who so, it was. So, honestly, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what is years hilarious song. is my, can... my brother, when he was a little, when, when he was, okay, so he, when he was, like, seventh or eighth grade, we used to go to uh, a convention in Cincinnati, um, and he got really into DDR, and so he's, you know, he's, like, tall, he was taller than I was, and he was a big boy. He also had this great big fro. So he would get on DDR, and he could do that shit backwards. He figured out how to do it backwards, <laughs> and, like, exotic ec- ethnic yeah. backwards. Uh-huh. Amazing. Yeah. He could do – it, it, it's one of those things like, hey, Becky, I can do this backwards. Like, bullshit. And then he did it. And it was just amazing to be able to see, like, you shouldn't be able to move like that. Physically, you shouldn't be able to move like that. And he 
dead. Knees are hinged the other way around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the game was it was kind of around for a while, it, but it was still hard to find. Like there was mm-hmm. a moment where it blew up and you saw it everywhere, but like for a while it was just like game works and then. Cedar Point had one. I'd get totally dehydrated playing it there in the heat. How much, yep. how much those machines cost? Because it's a big giant. It's only bowling alley. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I've never actually priced one. I've wanted a like a like a real home, like an arcade version at home, but I've it never. Takes up a lot of space. <laughs> yeah, it does. But the the pad is so good. I mean, you can get yes. the, the like the, yeah. the metal hard pads at home, yeah, and yeah. I've got one of those, and that was like sufficient for me. I like playing it with the PlayStation controller, just with my thumbs. <laughs> yeah, have no, you ever I mean, seen the little fantastic. PlayStation controllers? Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, this is like ridiculous. It's like you can't play it with PlayStation 2 buttons because they have like the, the pressure sensitive and it doesn't oh, yeah. register well. well yeah, yeah, no, and the nice thing about that really controller slamming. too is is that if you want to play Final Fantasy 7 with it, you can. Mm. Which is hilarious and wrong. <laughs> um, so my my, just wrong. my brother yeah, <laughs> so my brother had a pin that said, I can't dance without arrows. And he also had another pin that he would hide from my parents that said DDR naked. <laughs> oh my and man. realized that he was like now, seventh if they had and eighth DDR grade. like three or four years earlier. We could have had co-ed naked DDR shirts. <gasps> <laughs> Remember those? Oh jeez! Older people, what's yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> I think that needs Show to happen. Yeah, I was about to say, we can make that Wait, t-shirt let's happen. Let's go make yeah. that now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have a business yet? Can we just go to screen? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't come up with a good catchphrase. Usually I'm good at coming up with a catchphrase. <laughs> Those terrible yeah. taglines yeah. underneath all. <laughs> we got your Max or something. <laughs> oh. Number 72. Show me your arrow. You're up arrow. Oh, yes. yeah. 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 You're up arrow. Yes. And this, this is one of those games, too. I just say the announcer, like, only a voice, had, like, so oh, much dude. character in it. Like, it was hilarious because um, I remember the, uh, like, I see a dream in your step. I see tomorrow in your step. We'll call it our hope. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the, the Soul Calibur announcer. He was yeah. always, like, something yes. fantastic. Is there a of those announcers, like that guy in the... In the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 guy. Mm-hmm. And they should just, like, get to and have the, conventions or something. And, the, and, like, the Soul Calibur, like, the, um, <laughs> like, Zhang Hua's, like, destiny was forged by the victory. Of, you know? yeah, like, but well, his spirit no, still Captain, burns. Captain Jack. <laughs> yes. Captain Jack. The, 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 there was music yeah. in there for Captain Jack. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was dead, but that was awesome. It was good. The soundtracks, absolutely. Did you do, like, the, like, in the Navy? Yeah, yeah. yeah, he did it yeah. in the Navy. Yeah. He did the actual Captain Jack song. Um, and there was, uh, there was a third one, at, at least a third one. Biggest disappointment for me was uh, it came out on PlayStation finally, but it didn't have the original Butterfly. Like, the classic DDR yeah. yeah. song was not on the freaking uh, disc of record. I, 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 yeah. But I have that Disney mix. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, that's right. 72. Final Fantasy. One. Yep. Yes. I've beaten this. Okay, so I haven't beaten it on iOS um, because it's awkward as hell. Or but Android. I, or Oh, I'm sorry. Or Android. There's Android version. <laughs> Shit. All right, but I've beaten it on... I've beaten it on the NES. Honestly, I could probably walk you through the whole game. Like, if we needed to start, and I could walk you through the whole game, and I could tell you how to get a bunch of shit in the game, and I was seriously, like, we figured out alternate ways of getting around. Like, my idiot brother was like, let's beat it again, but let's beat it with these guys. Yeah, like, there's was, other ways to play, way to play it. Or you can go ahead, if you wanted to start, okay, so you can go through the game, and it, all you need to do is you need to get the canoe. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to... I think Becky likes this game. I really yeah, like this I, game. I think what she's oh, trying to say is this is her jam. Was this, this on your is, list? This is my shit. <laughs> I think yeah. she might have played okay, this Okay, so the first times. time I played this game, was it, it was on one it? of the first, no, the first RPG I ever played, and I was very young, and I didn't know you could equip or had to equip. Who's I was like, here? I'm just punching and nothing's <laughs> happening. This game sucks. And then my friend told me, you know, you have to equip your weapons. You have to equip so your you weapons. <laughs> this isn't on your list. It's not on my list. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, okay. it's, on, it's on the list. <laughs> well, you only had 25 spaces and there weren't there. I, I only had, and, and honestly, yeah. so there's one. other Final Fantasies on, on there. Um, you know what? I probably would have taken Tactics Advance and put Final Fantasy. Ah, too late, Final Fantasy. Too well, late. No, like, so we got into a huge fight. Like, there was a huge, like, the, we used to have world wars when I was growing up. These were world wars where, where I would fight with my friends, and they were so big that, like, we, we numbered them. And there was one of them that, like, my friends stopped talking to me and, like, broke into my house and took the game. And, like, and I and honestly, well, like. One safe slot, though. Yeah, That's kind yeah. of brutal. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. yeah and that, I think that was one of the big problems was. My friend was borrowing the game from someone else, and she let me borrow it. So I saved a game over it. 
and you bitch. yeah <laughs> yeah and and we we would play it with the NES uh, the NES Advantage. And seriously, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna bust a son of a bitch out on the NES, I have to play it with the advantage because there's no other way for me to do it. I love that game. Precise and it's control. it's hard and it's stupid. So <laughs> so if you haven't played it before on the NES, if you go ahead and tell all of your guys to attack an imp, and one of your guys kills the imp, and you the other three has spot. to yeah, there's a blank spot, and the attack is ineffective. And it's like really, you guys are beating a corpse. Goody for you. It adds. It's real strategy. Yeah, right. it's strategy. You there have to know no, there was almost no how many narrative points they have. There's no, there's, what you're there's tackled there's to. things, there's objectives, but there's no real story. Here lies Erdrick. The, in a, there's a tombstone in the right, elf vill, a, village. No, it. it was great because I had played through Dragon, Dragon Warrior, and I, I went through it, and, and my friend Kyla and I were like, I wonder if they were talking about the one in Dragon Warrior. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I missed this one the first time around. I... Played several of the the Final Fantasy, you know, much further down the line, mm-hmm. and then uh, this weird sense of completionism yeah. overcame me, and I was possessed. Play, yeah, well, I, 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 so I went back after playing the other Final Fantasy, so I was expecting something more like that, something a little more narrative driven, and so um, I, I really wish that I'd played the first one first so that I could, you know, have a good memory of it because, man, trying to play it yeah. after playing the other Final Fantasy, I was kind of yeah. like, eh. Honestly, I've only played seven and later, so p- picking I'm it a up, loser. So picking it up, You're if you go loser. ahead and pick it up and you've got, like, a PSP, the PSP version is wonderful. If you don't have a PSP and you've got a Game Boy Advance or you've got a GameCube with a Game Boy Player, the Dawn of Souls version, wonderful. And And I swear, every time I play through the Dawn of Souls version, there's a there's an extra part at the end, and you're going through and you're walking through this like village that's playing sad music, and you're talking to these monsters, and it's all these monsters that you had to kill in the game, and they're asking you why you killed them. Oh, you go to monster and, like, heaven. I, I honestly like every time I play through it, I'm like, woo, because it's like. I was just trying to be the leader of the pack. Or, I like, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't do anything to you. I was just trying to walk around and talk to my friends. Like, and I, I'm serious. I have cried, like, every single time I played what through it. What a it horrible is. thing to put in a game. I know. Yeah, that? That's have awful. You the PlayStation Origins version? How is that? Oh, actually, that's, one? that's not so, bad at all. Okay. Um, and the nice thing with those but, guys is... It's got load times, doesn't it? It doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't really. because they they went ahead and um it, it's it's such a small game anyway. But Close the, whole thing. the nice thing with the uh, the later versions too is there's not the level cap of level fifty in them, and the speed of the battles since they took out the uh, the attack is ineffective, goes a lot quicker. Mm-hmm. Um, they also take out the magic slot, which was a huge impediment in the one in the original NES. Because you had, so you had a level one spell, right? And you had three level one spells that you could put into that, that, and then you could go ahead and use those spells so many times. You only cast eight spells. Correct. You didn't have MP. You were only able to cast eight level one spells. You couldn't heal yourself. You had, I mean, it was, it was a bitch. Well, but you, if later, later in the game, you, you get like healing items. Which was really nice. So you could go ahead and use, like, the, the oh, your idiot fighter can't do anything. Well, you can give him the heal help, and he can heal people that way. It, it's a fun game. I, I enjoyed it. First time I saw it, Power Fest 1990. Holy shit! Wow. It, it's, it's a game that doesn't hold your hand. It's a game of the era. You have to figure it out. Draw your own maps. And... Yeah. Well, and, uh, uh, so, no, nobody liked it growing up. I was the only kid who had it. Uh, that's oh my god, we we all freaking loved it, dude. The once you find out that if you hit A and B, if you're on the ship and there's no oh, land, that, that, that slide yes. puzzle. Oh yeah, yes, the, the slide. <laughs> I love the slide puzzle, dude. I would go into that so much. Like my, my friend would be like, I have to go to the bathroom. Don't do anything. I'm gonna be like, okay, yeah, and like get the slide puzzle, and then we do the slide puzzle. And I think that was my first experience actually doing a slide puzzle, and I. Do it a thousand times a day. Cause you never had those in the car. Nope. I'd throw up. Oh, and this yeah. wasn't on your list. Yeah, I don't understand that. How did that part, <laughs> yeah, that's, how did this happen? It's like a fundamental wrong part Final of Fantasy. nature. That's I have Final Fantasy one. Tactics Advance on my list. So oh, that shouldn't on here. be there at all. Well, no, I'd any play... game with the word tactics in it. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I played Final Fantasy Tactics Advance right, so, that's so that's much. So yeah. Oh no, oh, no it's okay. Spoiler. Okay. Sorry. Oh, Spoiler. Yeah. Maybe. 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 It's, well, then, hold on a second. Well, then really? maybe. Oh hold no. Hold on. Really? Maybe. What? 
no See way. what you I did with your votes, Becky? What is wrong with foundation. you? You have screwed the bias. <laughs> <laughs> I've shamed I've shamed the m- memories of my ancestors. <laughs> Get Japanese here. The results are completely screwed. We've got a bad sample. We've got to start over now. Well done. All right, Thank so you for listening, and now you're playing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> right now I've got guilt. Top 100. <laughs> Come fill out the, the second collection of the top 100 games. <laughs> Thanks. Our Becky. list is fine. It made the top 100. You should be happy. <laughs> it did, and I'm very happy yeah. that it... I don't feel like I You got deserve. to talk about it for 10 minutes. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't That's think you're actually that it. sorry. Not everybody's <laughs> played all these games. <laughs> I'm really sorry now. Because I know that I haven't played this one, this 71. That sounds so familiar. Work. Yeah, that's really familiar. Oh, isn't that... Wow? No. no. What is that? Blizzard. Oh, Diablo 2? Yes. No. Yeah. What? Diablo. Diablo. Ooh, I like yeah. a boogaloo. Oh. <laughs> the only thing I know about Diablo is... Satanic boogaloo. <laughs> ...that the, there was a CD case for one of the Diablo games in the Mad Lab office for, like, forever. Ever. Mm-hmm. And I always thought, I wonder if I could play this. And then... Diab- never Did it. Diablo 2 hit a console? Yeah, it hit PlayStation. Yep. Wait, two? Uh, one. Deuce? First PlayStation. Deuce? Wait, hold on a second. Diablo 2 hit the dude? No, Diablo 1. Is that Diablo 2? Yep. Diablo 2. Yeah, Diablo oh, 2 did mind. not. Yeah, it's no, Diablo 2 didn't well, no, hit Diablo a console. Diablo 1 had two oh, we, uh, releases. We, we combined Diablo 1 and 2 for this one, by the way. Well, oh, so it's yeah. just Diablo. Full it's stop. Right. But that was, okay. that was from well, Diablo, was Diablo 2. 3 but what about all the votes yeah. for Diablo 3 with Always on DRM? What about all those? Did, did anyone vote for Diablo 3? What's that? Pardon? How is that possible? Believe it or not, people don't like it. I like throwing things to Really? That's yeah. so weird. Imagine that. You would think somebody would have said something on the internet about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to say Diablo 2 ate up so much of my life. I played so much Diablo 2. It was unreal. You could play talk about Diablo 1 too also. Not not 1, 2, but 1 or 2. One, so why did, one we, comma why two. did that get merged? Is it the same game or... What we wanted no. it on the list. They were similar enough. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it's fair, Heather, that we merged them? Or? You know, honestly, I never played Diablo 1. I played Diablo 2 and I played Diablo 3 a lot, uh, but so not Heather one. Heather could be the only one that played it, though. See, right? I'm just the opposite. I played nothing played but it. Diablo 1. Yeah, it was the same way. Di- it was all Diablo 1. Yeah, and that was the extent of it, and I, was, I thought it was cool. I picked up 2, and I was like, hey, give me a necromancer. This is cool, and then I, like, moved on to something else. I don't even remember what. Wasn't it both PC and Mac? Yeah, uh, was mm-hmm. that then would would include because they were nice. On the same yeah, list. yeah. Blizzard was great about bringing out Mac games when not a lot of people were bringing and out the Mac OS games. Nine days, OS Eight days. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. So Diablo played. on PlayStation as well. Did it hit Saturn? Yeah, actually, Diablo. There's two no? okay. variations of Diablo on the PlayStation. There's a two player and there's a four player. Really? Four, yes, and the four player is like a bitch and a half to find too. Do you have to like separate play? Is it all split screen or is it? I have absolutely no idea. It's All I know is you know it exists. Yeah. You connect your systems like the Doom port. It's like zombies in my neighbors, where if you like get stuck in the maze, your other guy is stuck in a maze, and you can't like move because you're both stuck. <laughs> just stops the, the camera. Will move. <laughs> Scroll busted. Oh man, we're gonna have to find it now. And get one of you has to drink the player. purple potion and turn into a monster and bust through the head so you can get somewhere. <laughs> that was in our last episode, by the way. You missed that. You missed your. You missed your jam. <laughs> Uh-oh. All these games I've never played, and I don't get to talk about Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. We'll talk about it right now. <laughs> well, so, wait, no, don't we, bitch, you know, no. We're talking yeah. about Diablo. Diablo. You don't have, no, you, you, but you played it. Oh, I played a lot of it. Uh, so I had when a lot did of, you play it, and, like, what did you play it on? Uh, PC, I can't remember what year. I remember I was in high school. I think I was a either a sophomore or a junior. Um, I know Diablo 1 was, like, 96, 97-ish. I'm that guessing. might have been I, I, earlier I, I, than I, that. I was not a PC gamer. At yeah, I thought time. it was earlier than that. Was it 95, maybe? It might have been 95, 96 then. Yeah. yeah. There's so not, 2 came out like in 98. Uh, there's not that much I can really say about Diablo 2. It's just like something fun to zone out with, right? It's and cracking, just, just collecting items, right? I mean, is Pretty that, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, uh, I would play with my friends. Uh, <laughs> it was just killing joy. And that Pure was one, killing joy. And that was one of the big ones that did the, the, like, the random item drops, but also the randomly generated levels. Mm-hmm. So yep. you didn't know, like, what enemies were going to be there. You didn't know what the layout was going to be. I mean, you had to actually, like, explore. Yeah, you really, you needed level. to play rather than memorize. You, right. you had a yeah. general idea of what the monsters would be. I love mysterious dungeons. Or, 
whether you get a boss or something like that. Yeah. So would this be a roguelike then, or the evolution of roguelikes? Uh, it's real time. It'd probably be like an evolution of kind of like how turn-based strategies evolved into real-time strategies. Probably similar to that. Are we done with Diablo? What has become of me? All right, number that's a, seventy. That, that's a feature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bug. Everybody get your stubble. No guesses. Dead or alive, ten. ten. This is a Dreamcast title. Is this Veronica? No. What is this? I was going to guess a Mexican soap opera. Is it? <laughs> Grandia 2. <laughs> is it Silent Hill? Soap opera's close. Shenmue. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay, here we go. Here's the thing. Chris can talk about this. Bidwell. <laughs> Actually, I can. I never finished it. Yeah, Anybody I never else finished Shenmue. I didn't beat it either. I played. I played. I mean, I probably put like maybe ten or so hours. I wanted into to love it. it, but I there was too much else in the Dreamcast I was playing that I was enjoying, and this was just too much work for me. I really finish. hate to say it, but it was work and buy capsule toys. Like I spent so much time. <laughs> I was like, what? There's a capsule toy machine right play Super house? Hang On, right? <laughs> or what games are in it? Her- Space Harrier and Space Harrier and Hang On, I think. So I re- there was a website that I used to go to. That infamously, if the website wasn't around very long, it said, best period game period ever for Shenmue. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Apparently they haven't played a lot of games. Are? Yes. I'm looking for the sailors. Where are the sailors? Have you guys seen sailors around? What was that, it? There was a... But this, I mean, this game was really ambitious. I mean, Yu Suzuki really, like, wanted to put a lot into this, and what came out of it, I think, was remarkable. I mean, it's it was a whole new kind of level of immersion. I mean, this is the kind of thing that laid the, the groundwork for games like Heavy Rain and, um, uh, oh, what was the other Indigo one? Indigo Prophecy. Yeah. Or, and L.A. L.A. Noir. Yes, L.A. Noir. I mean, it, it really kind of, like, set the, the stage of... Do you mind if I go take a nap? What? <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> well, okay, it was an open-world game, sort of, where, but you don't... <sighs> I think it was you as open world freedom. as you could get on a system Pardon? like that. It was about as open world as you yeah. could get on a system yeah. like that at the time. What's crazy is it was actually developed for the Saturn. It was originally going to mm. come out for the Saturn. Wow. You can you can find some videos online of the demo version actually like running on Saturn hardware. Mm. It is remarkable what they did with the Saturn. And I think the, the original Dreamcast version might have been limited a little bit because I don't think they ported it, but I think they were like, they built off of what they had started on there. They were Duke Nukeming it. Yeah, which is why yeah. Shenmue 2 is a little more refined. Speaking of, one of our infamous arguments, uh, we combined Shenmue and Shenmue 2 so that it could appear on the list. Shenmue had four votes. Shenmue 2 had one vote. And I think... Uh, since we, we decided that it was a single narrative that you could continue from one disc to the other, kind of like Mass Effect. Right, exactly. exactly. combine them for that reason. And we kind of wanted it on the list. I, I, I kid with it. It's not my type of game, but I do appreciate I think that people were... To make. Uh, this is before Grand Theft Auto 3, but people yes. were hungry, were waiting for a good open world game. So I think the anticipation. Grand Theft Auto is one of the. I mean, that, mm-hmm. that came Built out just it. less than a year later, yeah. and that's what yeah. made the PlayStation 2 what it was. And that it, gave you the freedom. You, it was a, a crime story. It gave you the freedom to do whatever you wanted, and it just did a, a couple steps beyond what Shenmue let you do, I think. If it had been like an American nostalgia game instead of a Japanese nostalgia game, maybe it would have been yeah. bigger here. Yeah, maybe. I mean, because. Less forklift. Well, oh, that forklift driving. driving is cool in Grand Theft Auto, so never mind. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Less looking for sailors and more beating up hookers. Yes. America. Yes. America. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. 69, dude. Yoshi's oh, Island. Yoshi's Island. <laughs> why is there a baby crying in my video game? Why is, why is that number <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is an annoying sound, but okay, there's a lot of annoying sounds in that game. But, but, but that is the Yoshi only video game I have ever played with the sound turned all the way off. Worse. What were you saying? That is the only video game I have ever played with the sound yes. turned all the way off. And, and the thing is, is that it's like, oh, he's still screaming. <laughs> Take the shit. Steve's right. It did get worse. It did get worse. The, the Yoshi sound got a lot worse. It got like to like a squealing sound instead of the <laughs> sound, which I love. <laughs> yeah. How'd that go again? Angry donkey. No, more, no, more. <laughs> no, no. Do it again. Do it again. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Best, for me. Go ahead. Best. 
level in that game is touch fuzzy go crazy yes the drunken <gasps> yes because you touch the things and you go nuts mm-hmm. and it like the all Nintendo the colors go crazy and it's like this too, you know. dude it touch is fuzzy go trip balls yeah it is it, and that is exactly what it is and it's mm-hmm. hilarious i think we need a t-shirt that says that, that. that so that touch game fuzzy go crazy there there are a couple levels in that game that i think I mean, i'm sure they're on youtube someone's beat them 100 percent but i think they are impossible to beat like i've tried hundreds of times on some levels to get 100 to score at the end it's it's a good Never. game it's wild that you know they went ahead and they took a game they took you know like we're not going to make mario the main um protagonist we're going to go ahead and take him and he's a baby net for some was reason. that a mistake should they have done as actual mario world 2 but yoshi was awesome so it was neat having Yoshi, and they wanted to go ahead and still have the tie of you know it being Mar- bait, you know Mario in it somewhere. I mean, yeah, the, it's the, like, the art style just got too saccharine, and it, uh, it, it it did, but it also gave us you know like with that we we that was that was a nice transition to be able to open up to Yoshi story. I wish they would have taken that and done more of a Yoshi story feel because Yoshi story stands on. The, on we we didn't get another proper two D Mario game for like twenty years because of this. Not because of. <laughs> well, you can say because of. Okay. Well, but, yeah. but I think the strength of the one through three and world is that that's all there is. Well, like so that's, you know. also with that, I think, yes, I agree with you. If they had just made it a Yoshi game and not tried to shoehorn Mario into it, it's like, it's like Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. Chrono Trigger... And Chrono Cross should be completely separate, oh, separate games. We already talked about Chrono Trigger. <laughs> no, 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 no. But here's the thing: they tied them together, and the tie between the two is stupid. If they had made this game and made it just a Yoshi game and not done a and tie actually, between I heard, Mario, I heard today. Well, it's the same game in Japan, but I heard that the title did not have Super Mario World Two in Japan. It was just Yoshi. Well, that yeah, they would, do that. And, and that would make sense. Yeah. They did that stuff over here just to. Help yeah. market. Like, you like the first one? Get the second one. Yeah. yeah. Sequel, so, sequel, sequel, sequel. Tell them there's Mario in it. Don't buy it. How much would it destroy the gameplay if it didn't have Mario in it? If it didn't have that protecting the baby? Oh, God, it'd make it better because that's it stupid. Better. Wham, that wham, yeah, wham. Yeah, it's was... really annoying. Well, here's this one. <laughs> that? Yeah, that's the one. And it bleeps. <laughs> like, it bleeps. It's a me. It's me. It's a me. <laughs> Thank you, oh YouTube. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Say yeah, no. Here's here's the thing, and I really, really appreciate about appreciate this about Nintendo, and I wish that more companies would would try this because you know Nintendo takes a lot of flack for remaking the same games over and over again. There's just more, another Mario game, another Zelda game, another Metroid game. But Mario the World that, Four, Silent Hill. <laughs> yeah. Well, so that's the thing. Like Nintendo. They've done a very good job building. The Mario very... World Pyramid would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and have like the sun flying around it. <laughs> now I want to see like a Sorry. pixel art Sorry. pyramid. Sun Sun flying around it. <laughs> Those crazy nurses, but they all have like mustaches. <laughs> I'll just like, like, let the man finish be, like, his narrative bones, first. Whatever, like, like just <laughs> slopping around. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> No, so so the thing is, is that they've done a very good job building very strong IP. Like they've built like very good worlds, very good characters. Like they they they've kept they've held on to the characters long enough and refined them well enough that they're very familiar. And I think that allows Nintendo to take a lot of risks. And you walk into something that's brand new, but there's still something familiar about it. So it's not like yeah, the, the characters are iconic, right? Exactly. And so you know the Wario Land series is a good example. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Like you know they can I love those. <laughs> they can do some off the wall and go into it. You know there's going to be a certain kind of an art style or a certain you know type of character in there. So there's going to be something familiar about it, and I think that lets them be more creative with some stuff and take some bigger risks. Um, he's epic yarn. When right, exactly. Like when you when you look at the risks that the other companies take, and they just try to be like realistic, or they try to come up with not a unique art style, but just a standard like 3D art style that's just pretty generic. Just more a process than a style. Like it, yeah. it kind of, kind of yeah. takes away. I mean, it, it just kind of feels benign. Like um, my favorite example is like Sports Champion. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> like sports champion for the ps3 is like the, one of the most awkward games ever and it's actually kind of fun like if they had had like a a good like if sony had a good ip and they built that or if they had like just like put the nintendo characters in there it would probably feel a little more familiar and a little bit better but it's 
dead, like, just automatons, and it's just yeah. completely pulls you away from the rest of the game or whatever. So you got no, nothing to, re- to draw you in or, and to relate to, really. But I think yeah, Yoshi so could have stood on his own two feet in this situation. I, I think still that, think it's Mario Jump the Shark. And yet, I don't, have Yoshi is so adorable. It was, the, the, you know, the, they took a, a risk, and it, and it didn't, play, you know, they took a risk, it didn't play off, Nintendo but they I knew. I love it when Mario Black gets Warmers. the tiny little cape. And he can run on the ceiling. It's so cute. He's got the yellow cape. <laughs> I, mean, so, so I, I think Dunk. I think it might because Donkey Kong Country is developed in America. I think that was kind of a Japanese U.S. rivalry with the Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think there might have been something with that going on too. This game was very overshadowed by Donkey Kong Country yeah. when it came out. It was not so, promoted as well. I, I mean, other than you know, I'm an Uber Nintendo fangirl. It's still a fun game. And I do remember we, we somehow acquired that game. Weren't from me, but maybe my brother might have gotten it in some unsavory way, but he beat the hell out of it. He had a lot of fun playing it. The levels are very long, too long. Like, and this was like 95, wasn't it? Before. So, like, I don't remember. PlayStation. And it, was a, it was a neat, I mean, they, like, they had tried, they tried it was a, it was a Twilight else. game, and I really wasn't, it was kind of my video game um, hiatus, hiatus at that point. Low. So I, I never really played it. I mean, I've, I have it, I've played it, but didn't play it in a day, so I don't really have the reference of where it fits in other than research. Well, and the thing is, is like the risk they took with that paved the way for Yoshi's Story. Exactly. I mean, exactly. you know, they, they listened to what was bad about the first one. But Yoshi's Story it, wasn't it, a big giant it. hit either. That was kind of an anomaly. It's lots of before. fun. It wasn't a big hit, well, but it was a it shitting was a on game, it. I'm just though. saying it's not it's on a list. It's lots of fun. Very defensive. <laughs> I rented it once and played. It's lots of press. fun. Back in the day, that's the only time was, I played it. Were either of these on your list, Becky? Becky? Like, I think we need the little baby crying sound again. I know Yoshi's story on, on your list, right? <laughs> no, no, we don't want to hear the baby crying sound. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, <laughs> beep, beep, beep. No, it's it's fine where it is. You I'm are just... allowed to like what you like. <clears throat> yes. But maybe you should have put some of these on your list. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm only allowed to have 25 games. Oh, Lord, here we go. How big of a collection do I have? <laughs> My heart is so full of video games. I'm 68. <laughs> Pitfall. Yes. Oh, yeah. The David Crane Classic. That's a great game. This game is remarkable. This game really showed off. You're a guy. What? You're not a blob. It looked good on the 2600. You posture. did shit. It it had a he ever knows his back. He never can. He never leans forward when he runs. He's running perfectly straight up. It's a corsetry, complicated but corsetry. It, but it showed you, like, really. I mean, this is one of those first games that really showed you what the Atari was capable of. <laughs> like, it wasn't just rendering, you know, blocky objects on top of a solid background with. You know, some kind of container around it, be it a wall or a track or something. I mean, it was and, really... And somebody need to pick up all those diamonds and gold bars people dropped off the jungle <laughs> indiscriminately. Uh, uh, bitch. <laughs> and all those snakes just sitting there and all those campfires lit. No. So, but this seems like a game that even the people who invented the Atari 2600 didn't think would be no. possible. Like, yeah. no, The David 2600 Crane could do Pong and Tanks. David Crane is still the shit. If I ever meet him, I'm going to give him a hug. <laughs> This was featured in the the book, uh, Tracing the Beam, Racing the Beam. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. And and just how impressive it was to, like, squeeze out, like, the little the life bar. Like, not the life bar, but it shows you your lives. And that was just, like, an afterthought. Like, he found out he could add that at the end. So I think something like that. And, and, and the thing is, other than Pitfall 2, sadly, Pitfall Harry has one of the most pathetic uh, late careers in video game characters. Pitfall the Mine Adventures. The Mine Adventures, the PS1 game. What was that one called? What was the Jaguar Pitfall one? 3D, probably. <laughs> and yet, Bruce Campbell did technically do the voice of one of the Pitfall Harry mm-hmm. games. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's not a, that much of a sign of quality. Bruce Campbell's well, been in... Br- b- uh, okay. Oh, oh, bad oh, movies oh, oh, okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a second. Okay. No. 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 Right. What I'm We're saying is, he's been in more bad movies than good. Here. Uh, I think you need to hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would say. Well, you haven't, you haven't heard movies. of the bad movies. The, no. No. The quality of the movies is immaterial. It's Bruce Campbell. So okay. you know. Yeah. Bruce he was in Congo. He was in Congo. Yeah, Congo. His yeah, his portion example. of Congo was acceptable. Because it's Bruce Campbell. Because it's Bruce Campbell. Okay. Well, that and oh, Ernie Hudson kind of the, the that show. And I don't care. I like Bubba Indians. Hotep. Oh, that's Oh, I never played My name Pitfall. is Bruce. Have you seen that? <laughs> Holy crap. It's really good. <laughs> he plays Bruce Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> when was, that's what so was the last meta. Pitfall game? Just PlayStation 1? No, they did one on, like, the GameCube, PS2, Xbox, uh, the new Expedition or something. I don't have it. They all suck. Any other Pitfall memories? 
It uh, was a good game, and you could tell what the kids are using Indiegogo. So, dude, you can totally tell what everything is in in Pitfall. You're like, hey, look, those are crocodiles because they're fucking crocodiles. No snakes. Yep. The scorpion and who was creepy. Knew there was such an oh. elaborate underground labyrinth in the jungle. Shit. I uh, seriously. I think it's that like game? Vietnam and it's like yeah, the tunnels. Viet Cong. <laughs> uh, Viet Cong it branched out to the Great. Amazon. Now next time I played I'm going to have flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie in the trees. Snakes are landmines. So were there were there any other side scrollers? I mean, because this would be one of the first games I would think that would be, I'd consider a side scroller on the Atari. Was there, was like yeah. Jungle Hunt before this or after this or? Uh, I think Pitfall was 82, oh, yeah. so I think it was before Jungle Hunt. But think about this. I mean, that's like that's a game with 256 screens. Everything before that was Donkey Kong with two screens. Ms. Yeah. Pac-Man had four. Well, I would consider those arcade games. I mean, this one really felt like, you know, you you look at Mario, like like Super Mario Brothers, and that is downstream of this. I mean. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was Adventure on the Atari 2600. That. But did Adventure that come was, out first? That was kind of overhead, though. That's not a side scroller. Yeah, maybe. Well, I don't know. No, it was a side scroller. Well, yeah, it had more than one screen. Up and down yeah. and left to right. It was. Yeah. It'd probably be more overhead than anything. Okay. Mm-hmm. But this was uh, straight up side to side, jumping over obstacles. Yeah. Really yeah. like yeah. platforming. Thank you, David Crane. Okay. Good night. Sixty-seven. Apparently, I'm not going to know what it is. Gonna build I can't mood. hear it. Bioshock? Portal? Wipe I out. need some glow sticks and some big pants. Half Life 2. Do, 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 do. Got it. Half Life yes. 2. Oh. Still never played it. I did. Uh, I did play Wouldn't Half-Life, that be full life? Only a little bit. <laughs> Half Life 2. The first one? No, it's a quarter. Two, two half lives, a quarter life. Because it divides in half twice. No, two half plus half plus half is. No, a half life is, is, is half the, half the amount of time it takes for something to decay to half of its mass. But a half of a life plus a half of a life is one quarter life. life. You multiply. No. So I, I complained about a game being too polished <laughs> earlier, but this is a game that's polished with an inch of its life, and every single moment is absolute bliss. I mean, every scene is is laid out for the maximum. Action and story and every everything just fits together so well. You, you you never leave Gordon Freeman's perspective, and it tells you an entire epic story. Um, it leaves things out that you have to just fill in the blanks, so oh it makes God. it seem even seem even bigger. Uh, yeah, it was one of my picks. So <laughs> I played it five or six times through. Uh, I did vote for Final Fantasy on the NES. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, Lord. <laughs> There's like Sorry. 50 million Final Fantasy games redeemed. coming up. <laughs> okay, I'm putting my microphone down. <laughs> Just ran. Uh, four PC votes, one Xbox 360 vote. I guess the uh, the the orange collection, yeah, orange yeah. box. Final Fantasy on the NES is on there. I'm sorry. But anyway, unfortunately, Half Life 2 is now kind of a joke because all anybody thinks talks about is like, where's Half Life 3? Where's my Half Life Episode 3? Or whatever. But like, just appreciate the game that you did get. That was perfect, you know? Yeah. So I, I, I haven't. I haven't played it i've seen some of it played and even just if they built off of what they did with half-life one mm-hmm. it's i can just it's amazing mm-hmm. and they do yeah, just it. to look at it it's yeah. Yeah. this is the one that had the gravity gun right yes yes yeah that's that's that awesome. is a yeah game-changing invention too like that's so good that and the portal gun i've, I've never played that one but um i because i don't pc game mm-hmm First person too, right? but and yeah, and first person shooters or whatever. But I'll make an exception, and that one was one that I thought, hey, that I might make an exception when they did do console, but they did it on it's Xbox. Xbox yeah, it's, it's part of the orange box. I can't yeah, stand the Xbox. Xbox controller and that coupled with its first person shooter and there's a you know, Steam there's 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 version too. Yeah, but Steve endorses it. So, but I well, yeah, <laughs> well now I, mean, I don't know, but I remember when the orange box came out, I was like. Maybe we should get that. Didn't, I didn't the original Half Life almost be like make it to the Dreamcast? Yes, there's a. Yeah, uh, like it was finished. Right? In fact, yeah. there's a. I think I have. You can war as it or you know <laughs> steal it and get a full burn of it. It's it did come out on PlayStation Two. Mm-hmm. Half Life One did. Did it really? Yeah, that's how yeah. we played it. And that's oh, wow. so. I mean, they're both almost equally as good, except for the graphics. I think still hold up on Half Life Two and Half Life One. They're getting a little creaky. 
Yeah, they're uh, looking really dated. Yeah. Uh, there's actually a couple of videos on YouTube where somebody's gone over and basically redone all the graphics with, like, the modern, like, yeah. Far Cry type engines oh, wow. where it's, yeah. it's it looks amazing. But, yeah, when you're looking at the original graphics engine, it's, you're just kind of like, why did was this? I mean, I would still recommend it. I yeah. think it, it, it works really well, the first one. But Is this like also where like, Gary's yeah. mod came from? Yes. Half-Life 2. It's kind of like the it's last. Like the source engine. So it's kind of like the last great single-person, story-driven, first-person shooter. Yes. They're all, like, multiplayer now and stupid storylines. The storyline. one-player mode is a or no afterthought. Right. Well, the Bioshock. Oh, yeah, there's well, Borderlands. Borderlands, yeah. yeah. There's no Borderlands, really Borderlands, Borderlands and Borderlands 2. Because that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I don't like a first. I don't like a first-person shooter, but I did enjoy playing Bioshock. Okay. I did. I did really like Bioshock. Speaking of ignorance, so. all these first-person shooters. So that's why I was thinking, me. since you're talking about it so much or whatever, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to give it a yeah, try. I, I do agree. You know, that okay, it's stupid the question of the night. Is that where a portal came from? Yes. Okay. The orange box. The orange box. Oh, orange box. Yeah. Okay. Really they, they, take place, they take place in the same world. Okay. Yeah. okay also, that's Team Fortress That's why when Orange Box came really out, I was good. like, maybe we should give this a try. Maybe I might like this. And you can get Orange Box for probably 10 bucks on either system. I'd recommend right it. Right now, Xbox, yeah. The controller's better. I think the orange box has eaten uh, quite a few of my hours yes. between Portal and uh, TF2. I did play and a little Half-Life bit of Half-Life. Half-Life 2 Episode 1 is kind of weak, but Half-Life 2 Episode 2, back up again, just as good. Yeah. So wait a minute, it's Half-Life 2. And then Half-Life 2 Episode 1, and then Half-Life 2 Episode 2 is three separate games. But they're all on the orange box. You can just play them all in a row. <laughs> is Half-Life 1 in the orange box? No. <laughs> Is, is there Portal in the orange box? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Portal, Portal in the orange Portal box. Portal originally came is out the orange, the orange box, box on the Xbox? <laughs> yes. No, it's on is, Xbox 360. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh... Oh, man. But wait, but you so, have an orange Xbox. You do. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, so, so orange box, orange box, box on the orange box. box. You can get Half-Life 2 for the original <laughs> Xbox, and it's it's decent. Does an orange box have enough vitamin C for a day? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to joke. So does I see it go? my doctor if I have an orange box. Heart <laughs> <laughs> uh, oompa loompa on your father's oh, side. Oh, God. <laughs> God. <laughs> Moving right along. <clears throat> so so does, the story, right along. does the story go from Half-Life to Half-Life 2 to yes. Half-Life 2 Episode 1? It's really and- creepy, too. You're, like, frozen in time for, like, 20 years from Half-Life 1 to Half-Life 2. And you're just under the control. It's kind of like X-Files. You're under the control of this, like, mysterious man who, like, is perhaps omnipotent and just, like, brings you in. Well, I don't know if that's, like, excellent, but he reminds me of the cigarette-smoking man um, on X-Files. Yeah. And he just unfreezes you, and you do his bidding, basically, and you see him occasionally. And, and it's it's in the first game, you unleash an alien uh, invasion on the Earth, pretty much. Whoops. And then the second game, it's they've taken over, and the whole world is basically, like, bombed out, war-torn, alien war land, you know? (laughs) Wow. So it's really atmospheric. 66. (laughs) Secret of Mon. Oh, uh, yeah, no, hold on. Yeah, it's on the list. Do you mean Secret of Mana? Shut your mouth. (laughs) I like this song. Hey, is this, uh, is this... Color the summer sky or stomp the summer sky? Into the thick of it. Into the. Ooh, okay, no. Um, so we met the guy who did the, the music from this um, at MAGFest, and he was he was really neat to meet. If you listen to the music, it's very progressive, and I'm one of those assholes. So um, I like, uh, I asked him, I was like, so when I listen to it, it sounds like a lot of yes. And he was like, oh, yeah, I listened to Fragile, like, over and over again while I was writing it. I was Stupid like, prog rockers and their time signatures. I knew. I loved it. It was great. Don't so, so for you. yourself. <laughs> so, um, Secret of Mana. five, four times. S- uh, so, 33, eight, that's nothing. <laughs> Secret of Mana is a three-player, it can be a three-player game. Yep. You get three s- uh, characters. You have to have a multi-tap to be able to do a three-player game on it. Um, the, the, I think that oh so so okay um it has a ring system which they okay so i i, I have a repro um thank you lord loss i have a repro of Mana 2 of secret of Mana 2 for the the uh, super nintendo which so never hit three also yes. yes yes i really like that one um so not as good as, as secret of Mana. secret of Mana is wonderful because that ring system is so perfect to use mm-hmm. when you're in the you know the thick of it and you're you're fighting battles or you need to cast magic or whatever like it is so easy to get into and do um, all of the weapons are upgradable. 
um, and ad nauseum. My brother played through the final boss's, like, dungeon thing. He hates that music because he listened to it. He probably has heard that for, like, 50 hours because he played through it so often. Like, uh, that game is, it's great. Um, Santa Claus is in that game. <laughs> for reals. I always want to play robot? through this with somebody else, and I never really. Oh, I played with, through it with my brother all the time. We got it used. Didn't, um, didn't we start it once at your apartment, your old apartment? Yeah, but my old apartment, we had shitty neighbors up above us. They would pound on the floor every time they heard a anything louder than a laugh no yeah that's true so so seriously it's one of those games that everybody should pick up and on the wii if you buy it for the virtual console you can have three uh controllers going at once and do a three-player game oh and it's kind of not, it doesn't it's just fun to play three players it, yeah, you don't need to it doesn't really add too much except for enjoyment. it's a little yeah, slower than zelda I, I think the action in zelda is a little bit better but it's got the hp but, on it so you have a better life three players and you know and it's more you like get um, magic you can use the yes a completely absolutely Absolutely. I think the action the... isn't as good as Crystallis, but it, it's, it's the same concept. Yeah. It's just not as well. You get to charge up your weapons, yeah, and, and there's Crystal. different there's different levels for it. So it, it, it does take forever to get to, like, the level 8 stuff. But, like, being able to see that once, where, like, they do, like, the Hadouken, which is so freaking cool. So we combine this with the for Secret of Evermore, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> because, well, yeah. Because uh, I had no. the ring, too, though. I, it did, and, and that it was... So and yet. What well, was Square? It was Square USA's only release. It was North American Square. Did uh, Secret of Evermore? Was, was there a reason for that? They Whatever. thought they, they, thought they were going to do more about sequels. That make our list. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Secret of Mana is a wonderful game, and I believe that it's great, and that's why I put it on my list. And I think that people should play it. At the end. Yep. And that's a very good song. Good cover. Good poster. The whole soundtrack is fantastic. Yeah, this is another one of those games, too, that really just has a fantastic ambiance. Like, the, the graphics yeah. are nice. The color palette they, they chose is and really pretty. He, and there are specific areas that you're in. So he, he went for specific seasons. And the areas that you're in, when you're in the wintry area, he uses different instruments than he would use in the summer or fall. Because you would associate, like, the sound of chimes. It's like craft beer. Sure, it's like craft beer. So is that the cheesiest? <laughs> Get your winter ale now. It's just beer. So craft beer, I hear that. I still I think think hops, bitter, nasty. <laughs> well, obviously you're not alone because it's on the list. It is on. The list. I'm All right, just made the list. You're just alone in the room. I'm just so, alone. I want to play through one of these days. Maybe Linda. Wait a minute. So hold on a second. Has anybody else beaten Secret of Mana in here? No. Son of a bitch. You, yeah, I, I've never even thing. heard of it before tonight. Yeah, you know, you guys should play oh, She's making that sad face again. We need to play Don't through. be sad for liking what together. you like. Why are you sad it's a good for thing you like achieving it. That's why we're on our show. <laughs> it's on the list. If you weren't here, it's just other one of those things like it. Yeah. It's those things like, it's like, oh my God, have you eaten at this restaurant? Because they're the shit. And then you go in and like, oh my God, they are the shit. And you like show somebody else that like, it's the best thing ever. And then you sit down with somebody else. It's just, I don't know that the experience would be the same as an adult when i sat down and i played with my brother and seriously no. it's it it was 93 so it's been 20 Fantasy years ago one uh, it, yes because yeah, it is, it it's, be. it's it's quicker it definitely is the quicker and it, it, it does so well with the super nintendo controller like they use the buttons properly <laughs> and the sound is good and the, the characters and the the sprites and oh it's great and there's rabbits in it and there's <laughs> rabbits so cute 65 oh. Mario Kart? Close. 80s TV sitcom? F Zero? <laughs> oh, yeah, Mario Kart 64. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> uh, I'm not on this. Oh, God. Did we divide those up separate? Uh, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. no. Wow. We, we divide up the there Mario Karts because Mario they're 2D, 3D. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh, the the fighting lines. games are all the same. Yeah, yeah, it's fighting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mario Kart 64. You could, you could. 2D to 3D. There's a lot of things to trash jump. about this game, but you can't take away how much fun it was to play after school when I was in 11th grade, and all my friends came over, and we would play it for four hours after school. I like, have never every played it. Freaking day. Well, no, no, I can't did play that, it. Yeah. I played it in Hex to Decathlon, and that is the only time I yeah. ever played it. Really? We, I remember we played it a little bit, but I didn't like it. Really? At all. It was my favorite, I think. Oh, I, I had a, my, my roommate had it in college. Um, he had I think N64. objectively it is pretty ugly. <laughs> it's, yeah, <laughs> but that's, the N64 
I, I have the hardest time. Awkward adolescence of gaming. Yeah, like the, the 3D and the N64, I, just, I can't. I mean, I, I had a hard time doing it back then, but I'd forgive it for games that were really amazing, like the uh, the wrestling games and stuff. But Mario I think the Kart, four, I just four player Mario Kart is just awesome. I mean, I love the first one SNES, but. Okay, wait, so was this the one where, like, you're driving along, and then there would be, like, the row of things you could pick up, and mm-hmm, then mm-hmm. you get to. <laughs> and, and I got stuck playing Bowser and Hex. Boo, yeah, boo, boo, boo. Like, ping. Uh, Everyone always wanted to play Yoshi. Blue shell. He's the most balanced Yoshi yeah, is. And yeah, no. It, wow. Yeah, the block, I block fortress on it, level. Block fort. I liked, I liked the one on the Super Nintendo because we had it. And then the I really well, liked the Nintendo one. That's wonderful. That's yeah. the thing with this list, though, is that we didn't say, like, what are the best games ever. It's like, what? 25 games did you love playing? Yeah, you personally. Well, there wasn't so, even that. It wasn't even that specific. Like you can make games. your own rules as to why. There's yeah. just, a, I mean, sample. so there's a lot of things like, like, you know, Steve said, you know, it was the best thing ever to, like, come home after school with friends and play Mario Kart 64. I will say so, we sold yeah. the shit out of that game when I was at, uh, when I worked at uh, GameSwap. Yeah. Like, the, the that I think the, the level of fun on those games, like, the kids that would come in and, you know, they'd be like, dude, bro, do you remember... Do you remember playing um, Mario Kart? Let's get it again, and let's get GoldenEye, and they're fun. And then they wouldn't go back and I be really like, liked GoldenEye. GoldenEye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I mean, it's like, dude, bro, This is these are the things that we played when we were growing up. Right. Let's dude, bro, them all over again. And it's okay because they were fun. So it's not like, you know, you're being chastised because you were playing stupid shit. Like, nah, my favorite game <laughs> was the same favorite game that everybody else And then had. this was the... F- the first time where Nintendo realized they could be selling a lot of extra controllers, like because the Super Nintendo they gave you a second controller, but this was, one just yeah, gave you give one. the N64 credit for built-in controller yeah, slots. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. way yeah. overdue. But like yeah. this yeah. game, I bought it with a green controller. Everybody bought an extra controller. We yeah, had to two. because those tridents were pieces of shit. And it, well, no, mine all still work. <laughs> yeah, all my original ones still too. So. Yeah. You know what? I don't think of them as a trident. I think of they, they for some reason they remind me of um, was there foot? a no? Wasn't there a there was a ship in Star Trek that kind of looked like that? Am I yeah, thinking of like, like, oh, no, the the Romulan 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 Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. the Romulan yeah. Warbirds. They look like an N sixty four controller. No. Or the N64 controller looks like that? I think it wasn't Bird of Prey. Yeah, Bird of Prey. Bird of Prey. Bird of Prey. Bird of Prey. Yeah, yeah. So that's Klingon, on, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or the Klingon, Klingon, yeah. Klingon Bird of Prey. So I had a green but, one, but too. Since so it had I was going to say Klingon. Since it starts <laughs> we, we, we apologize. Yeah. Yeah. Right? We've ostracized all of, yeah. I, I we, we apologize to all of the treks, Trekkies and Trekkers yes. that might be listening to this podcast right now. Uh, what we is apologize this? to everybody else who aren't. <laughs> <laughs> is there a word in Klingon for the loneliness? Yes, there is. Happy Waitangi Day. We apologize to all the Jedi but, but, yeah, for mixing we, we up all of our game. Klingon chips. <laughs> <laughs> one player game in Mario Kart 64 is about two and hours. Our viewership has at just dropped to zero. Total. You beat all the levels. It's easy, and that's it. You never play that again. It's the multiplayer. It's the multiplayer. That's, that's, yeah. what, that's Honestly, what we're talking that's about. when multiplayer started getting good. Mm-hmm. That's kind of when that kicked off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The four player. Well, up there four and... player. Yeah. There are lots of two player so, games. Speaking there. of multiplayer. Combat? Breakout? Warlords? I mean, Warlords. <laughs> oh. Warlords. Well, hey, real quick, before we leave Mario Kart, do we have any host votes or guest votes for Mario Kart 64? Uh, three guest votes. Okay. No host votes. Not me. Warlords got a vote, got was five, three, and one, and I was the one host that voted for Warlords because it is fucking awesome. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the discussion's done. Breakout. <laughs> But it's, it's for four people. But it's versus breakout for four people yeah. on the Atari. And mm. and the first time I ever played it in my entire life was at Cincy Classic. Cincy Classic, and I made it to the second round in the tournament, which was amazing. Woot! <laughs> it's fantastic. That's and great. and we still have how old was that kid that was playing it? At he was like twelve. Korgs. Yeah. Yep. Still pick up and people play. People still playing. And yeah. Yeah. Awesome action. And, and yeah. the marquee on that game. Was lovely. I had to do the painting for the the oh, orange yeah. thing, and the marquee and the oh my god! I want to do a stained glass of that. Yeah, it's yeah, oh, whoa, yeah, yeah. If you ever have friends that Atari, what the fuck is this shit? Put Warlords in front of them. If they don't like that, then they're not your friend. And seriously, <laughs> back in the day, four players on that—that's remarkable. Like yeah. that's amazing. So is that is that two sets of paddles? Yes, paddles. Mm-hmm. Paddles. Yeah. Paddle controller has two paddles on each. So, so wow, that's. 
That's wonderful. It's How awesome. They, they were thinking ahead. In the arcade, I've never played the arcade version. Do they do four players in that? Good question. Because I keep think I, I've never to, seen one either. Pong, you know. Yeah. They did have four player pong though. Yeah, that's right. And I've never played that either. That doesn't seem as fun. Although it's just like the uh, hockey version. Paddle games in general, almost all the paddle games are great. Whoever actually, thought of the idea to have the paddle turn the corner, yeah. that is the key yeah. mm-hmm. to that game. And being able to hold the ball, like, yes. that's that's a really big deal. Yeah. yeah. It's a, f- a few, like, really just killer elements that combine. Because, I mean, you game. can definitely, like, you can, you can shift the ball's movement mm-hmm. by just, you know, hitting it in different places. But really, like... Being able to capture the ball and really finger, just adds a whole yeah, new level of yeah. strategy to it. I mean, that really... And also that you're against and three people and you can throw your ball at... Where, you, you know, could team you up, or three people can team up on Did the one winner. Did you screw winner. yourself over? Oh, easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it goes it goes plenty fast. So you, you throw your ball in the wrong spot, you get hosed. Um, speaking of paddles, number 63. A fraternity game? Kaboom. Beer pong? Kaboom, that's yeah, right. Yeah, is it Kaboom? Yeah. Yep, with with the little added... Uh, Hamburgers? The 1812 Overture in the in the background for the more advanced versions. Hamburgers? Somebody upstairs? Oh, John. Oh, yeah. Um, Kaboom's my all-time favorite single paddle. paddle play a beer, single play a beer. Single player paddle game. Because the Burger King version couldn't have bombs in it, so they had to make it hamburgers. <laughs> Wait, there was a prisoner dropping hamburgers on you? Yep. Squishy. And then you had to have them all. That was like a little handheld version. He sold a Burger King uh, with the kids' meals. Yeah, and then, then they actually a, made it. Then, then, then there was a hat called Kabul with uh, Osama bin Laden dropping bombs. Kabul. <laughs> K-A-B-O-O-L. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Somebody, yeah. The, right after 9-11, that was, that was a thing. Didn't, oh, didn't they do the Burger King oh. version? Didn't yeah, so they did the 2600 version of the Burger King game. Yeah, so it was <laughs> that's whole, awesome. Dropping hamburgers and whatever. Tee-hee. What is it with hamburgers and video games? There's so many. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Hamburger? Hamburger? Anybody else play Kaboom? Oh, Kaboom. I love this game growing up. I mean, this is one of those fantastic games where you were going to lose. No matter how long you play, you are going to lose. Mad Bomber's going to win. And I love that. It's just it's a survival game. It's just how long can you last. And like, it's so fast. It yeah, is so it's, fast. It's stressful. I mean, Switchy. it's super stressful. Switchy. I mean, I, yeah. I think how many did you drop? Like nine a second in the last levels. I mean, oh it's, I, I don't even know. It, yeah, just back. In, I mean, it, it it's beyond description. Could you get a patch for it? Huh? If they did have patches now, I could earn a patch for it. It's three thousand <laughs> points for a patch. Oh, really? Yes. Nice. Which is hard, but not super hard. Not impossible. I wish, I wish they did the patches again because the the points are stupid. So if suck. you don't know what the patches are, um, uh, um, Activision Activision did patches. You, if you, you broke a score, you, sit, take, you a take a picture. Take a TV, picture. Take it to the photo mat. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Have it developed. Have it developed. <laughs> yep. You have to go to the put it in an envelope. Put it in an envelope with, with a stamp. stamp. <laughs> Mail it. Okay, so for people who don't know, put, it, put no, in a self-addressed no, envelope. You go to the photo hut you fold, that are folded that have a sticky part on them, <laughs> and you write on a piece of paper. I still have pictures I took of Mario Kart 64, by the way, of my <laughs> my time on Luigi Speedway. Yeah. Oh, ma'am. So you take, you send it in. Activision would send promotional like patches that would go on your awesome like Atari uh, track jacket. <laughs> <laughs> or your jeep jacket. <laughs> or your members only jackets. <laughs> or your boy scout uniform. Your members only <laughs> boy scout sash. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if you pick up Activision Anthology for the PlayStation 2, they have reproductions of all those patches that you can get when you beat Except scores. you never will on Kaboom, right? Cause well, they made it super low on Kaboom because yeah. it's impossible to play with a regular not. See, this is a game controller. that I, until I met you, I had never played. I think that's. So. Have we done? We haven't done Kaboom yet for Hex of the Castle, have we? Nope. No, That'd we need to. Nope. This yeah. one. And the first game has been chosen for yeah, Hex of the Castle in 2014 in one historic of your moments. Like you got a better copy, and yeah, I, I took one of yours. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. 62. 62. You, 62. Sounds Star Wars y. This one's got a four. No. Jen and Chris voted for it. Shadow of the Colossus? No. It is more dreamy than that. Onimusha? No, no, because I didn't vote for Onimusha. Oh, um, it's Uncharted. Is it Gilbert and Sullivan? No. It's not very parts. Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls. Oh, yeah, four. Yeah, oh, okay. Oblivion. 
Okay. You, you vote, both of you voted for the entire series. Yeah, yeah. So Elder Scrolls 1 has votes on here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nobody played that. I apologize. That's, that's, well, that's your list. <laughs> I apologize anyway. Well, bec- Talk about it. This is your games. This is well, your I, I wouldn't This is have, your uh, I wouldn't have put the whole series. I forgot about one. But I wanted to put Oblivion and Skyrim on there. And that I also liked Morrowind. Skyrim, and, yeah. Yeah. I, I think, yeah. it, primarily speaking mostly about, like, uh, Morrowind, starting with Morrowind and then going with Skyrim, uh, one of the things that I really liked was that because it was non-linear and open open world, it was the the level of detail that they would get into. Yeah, it was absorbing. Uh, just, you could pick up almost every book, you could look at almost every thing, you could pick up random crap, and it seemed like this was an actual living world where you could just walk through somebody's house, pick up the books on the shelf and go, oh, I'm just going to take these and walk out. Whereas before, you have to open a cabinet, there's some rupees. Okay. Whoop so you. do you, do we group these? No. no. Okay. So this is specifically... Specifically four. Oh, specifically just... Okay. But that's okay. I mean, Which I one is four? there's similarities. Three, yeah. Four, yeah, they, they do a lot of repeats. Yeah. Oblivion is the one that was on uh, Xbox 360 early on. I mean, these are all PC, mm-hmm. too, but the console. I have some wonderful, wonderful Oblivion stories. Okay, so we'll start <laughs> off with this one. <laughs> like, which, which one first? All right, so I, I have a friend. Uh, he was delighted that he could play absolute evil. He killed everyone in every town just to, just because he could. Just because oh, he could. I can't do that. I can't even play I, I can't play evil I either. These are not online, right? These are all single player. Yeah, this is yeah. single yeah. player. Uh, I think we had the 360 version. Um, so there is this one quest called the Fingers of the Mountain. You have you have two options. You can take it back to the Mage Guild, or you can give it to like a I can't remember exactly what it was like kind of like a renegade wizard ish character, right? But if you give it to the renegade uh, wizard character, you learn the spell Fingers of the Mountain. If you do the right thing and go give it back to the Mage Guild, you get no reward essentially. Not you don't learn the spell. So what my friend did was he took it to the renegade, and she goes, yes, thank you. Teaches him the spell. He proceeds to kill her, loot the book off her corpse, and then turned it into the mage guild. <laughs> and he got positive the points for that. And, no, and then he, that. so he got credit for both, <laughs> both turn-ins. Sounds like a man after my own heart. Oh, so there's another, there's another story. Uh, so Matt actually went through the entire game. He goes, you know what? Fuck weapons. And he went and just punched uh, everything yep. in the entire game. Just like, there were rats. <laughs> Punch the fuck out of those rats. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then, like, you could just see through the, 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 the uh, eyes, you know? So it's like, Pah, me! And he's like, yeah! And he was just going on this rampage, like, running through everything. He's like, punching everything. He would go into this little room. It's like, there was like, the, like an armory, essentially. Like, swords galore all over the tables, walls, or anything. He's like, <laughs> Whatever. Punch those swords. Like, like, yeah, yeah. He, he just, he's like, I don't, like, he just leaves. He just kind of scoffs at it, right? And then, like, you know, you're fighting other characters, which are, like, well-armored, shields, swords, like, decked out to the brim. Punch him in the face! Just, you like... Get, does your punch get stronger the more you oh, punch Oh, you them? get, it gets obscene, okay. right? It, it gets mm-hmm. obscene. Like, it's one of those games where the more you use things, the better yeah, the, those things Yeah, the better it ranks like, okay. up, right? So he, like specific he had leveling. no need for weapons. He was just punching everything to death like 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 you know you'd see like really weird uh well geared like almost knight-ish characters covered head to an armor just like two shotty like yeah with my fists but then you don't have to worry about carrying things too because there's oh, like a weight limit in oh, the game of like how much you the best part the best part he's like yeah i got my horse he's so excited you know run around this horse he accidentally punches the horse <laughs> the horse goes Mongo. ballistic the horse like and just like no and he's like he had to punch it to death i think because he had to put it down because the horse turned on him <laughs> yeah no there's no there was no, there was no punch or something. i'm sorry trigger i'm so sorry i have to punch it down i'm so sorry it's like punch it flying down. he's just like i'm so sorry for for this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I don't learn yet. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that that was, those were some good times. All of a sudden, I'm going to play this game really bad now. <laughs> I just go on a punching rampage. Well, I think a lot of people end up doing that, because now, you know, in the, in the later games, there's gloves you can get. Yeah. The, the early no, early he had lane. bare fists. No, 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 no. Honestly, that was, he needed. Well, so many people were going through and punching, punching the no, crap out of the game. Punch <laughs> rampages. Like, now there's, how, there's, how, there's how do you punch weapons. horses with boxing gloves on? No, no, no. Like, <laughs> oh, like right. iron uh, steel. You're being funny. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to be funny. No people laughed at it. It's late. <laughs> I like walking around the worlds of these games, but I don't like the combat. It's, that's that's it feels my a little biggest sloppy gripe. It's, it's so mushy. But, yeah. If you're going to be Western. like a, a, a action-based RPG... Make the action fun. It's just because there, there's a lot of stuff in the game, and it's just not everything's perfect in it. I love how deep so, you can do so much in it. I love how deep they are, but I, I, I can't get into the combat portion of them. That's per- me personally. I, I don't know that I have fast enough reflexes to play anything that requires me to, like, have real time thoughts. Well, that's, that's the nice thing about this game is that at a certain level, at least with uh, Skyrim, it's probably the same in Oblivion. It's, your bow skill gets high enough. And you're creeping along. You don't even you have to. You may like arrow someone's head though, and they go right can, over. Like, pause yeah, you each can time pause you, it. you yeah. shoot. Well, the um, nice thing with the Final Fantasy games is that there's not really, like, the realism when things die. They just, like, disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a level of realism. Yeah, you this, have you to can, walk around the corpses. You can collect everybody's heads, right, in Skyrim. And oh, God, yeah, no. You could, you could yeah. collect everyone's heads. I saw. Put them on the shelf. Yeah, I saw yeah. 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 Me. Just name something, and some guy's done it in Skyrim. So, all right. So I have to ask this: as someone who's never played one of these games before, ah, where's the jumping in point? Is it Skyrim? No. Is that the no, one no, with no, the, no, the, no. the 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 Randy Macho Man Savage? Or, uh, yes. j- j- Somebody s- which um, spoiler alert: we might have that one later in our list. So, and we just, if we could keep it to Oblivion, yeah. kind of. Oh. Uh, but well, but, but question. But for the series, though, like where, like, what's the jumping in point for someone who's never played one of these games before? Morrowind. I is it Morrowind? Morrowind would probably be the better one to start with. Is that the easy is that one? Is that PC or, or is that Xbox? Yeah. Xbox. It's on no. Xbox One. Too. Original Xbox. Played, that's, and that's a hard to find one now, too. I played it on Xbox. It's it's one of those. It's not hard to find. It's expensive, though. Like, yeah. Can you get Morrowind on the PC? Can we Steam it? Yeah, it's like on Steam. Uh, you might I, I think so, yeah. yeah. I think you yeah. can get it on Steam. I'm assuming you get better graphics out of the PC now than what you get for the Xbox. Yeah. Or are they pretty much the same? Yeah, I would hope. <laughs> I would hope so. No, I think I've got the, the Game of the Year edition if you want to borrow it. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was the one we got. Uh, oh, yeah, our buddy at, at MAGFest. Yeah, he got that. Yeah, his girlfriend was a huge fan of the one on the Xbox. Well, that, that game, but she didn't have it through the Xbox. And Wes Johnson was one of the voice actors. Mm-hmm. And he was just walking around. And our dude, Cor- Carlson, had a copy. And so Wes, Wes Johnson was like, can I sign that for you? <laughs> and he was like, "K," and then right. um, uh, our buddy was the one who ended up buying it, and his girlfriend like flipped her shit because that was awesome for her to get. I want to go to a convention and just start walking around going, "Hey, can, can I, I sign, sign that, that for you? Yeah. Can I punch your rat for you?" <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you're that keeping one, score, is that euphemism? <laughs> Does that cause an orange box? <laughs> <laughs> All, all, uh, these games have six <laughs> votes each, by the way. Now we're in a six-vote territory with uh, Oblivion. Hallowed. Uh, five votes for the PC, one vote for the 360 version. I, I will say that as far as gameplay goes, uh, one of the things I did like about this series is that it no longer really relied exclusively on just killing things to power yourself up. The leveling up was done all, all. by completion of quests. Yeah, as you completed points in the storyline... That's when your experience, or that's when your whatever you would use to level up, came about. It wasn't, it wasn't just go out and combat. kill a bunch of things, and it wasn't just you know you could go out, grind a bunch, come back, and then wipe everything out. You had to follow certain parts of the storyline to get that stuff. Boo! That's right very different than the Japanese games because he's he he is senior grindy. Yeah, I like you I can like still you can still do a lot of grinding, is that a especially. <laughs> Does that make an orange box? <laughs> <laughs> but the, the character, the enemies level up with you. Yeah, yeah. In the Oblivion. In Oblivion. In Oblivion. In Oblivion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You may not like that, Ted. I don't know. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. So they're always kind of just hard enough to. Yeah. Yeah, because I always, when I play at the Japanese RPGs, I always like grind myself up to points I can kill things in one hit, and I'm like, okay, now I can move to the yeah. next place. Yeah. 
and, and you can do that, too, because of uh, the way that the skill in, in the whole series, and we're supposed to be sticking to oblivion, but in oblivion, <laughs> uh, you can level certain skills up so high that Doesn't even though the enemy, yeah, even though the enemies have leveled with you, you've taken this one specific skill up so high that you can, you know, punching. You can kill them with one <laughs> yeah. punch. Kill even, punch yeah. uh, but if you, but if you tried to, but if you tried to, you know, sword them or spell them, it'd be mm-hmm. hard because those aren't as level as high. I think originally there was actually a problem with this, um, and I could be wrong. This how I remember it. I think it was the wolves that actually leveled like the way they ranked up. At a certain point, they actually became impossible oh, to yeah. kill because they were so fast. I think. Huh. I think it was the wolves, but you could, they were just they would just obliterate. And this game had the horse armor too, right? Oh, the <laughs> horse armor, horse armor yeah. microtransaction. Yeah, it was when microtransactions Pointless. were brand new. Uh, the first microtransaction yeah. games. Yeah, and now we probably wouldn't scoff at horse armor. <laughs> <laughs> You know, People would probably herald horse, horse, horse armor, armor nowadays. Right? What's that? <laughs> People would probably herald horse armor nowadays. Like, look at this amazing horse armor. <laughs> it was only $12. <laughs> it was a steal. Wait, wasn't there a car for a racing game that was like $400,000 for the skin or the car for Like, you guys know about this? DLC sounds like a, stupid. Is that a yeah. Forza thing? I don't know. The DLC know. can be fine if it's actual... Like content, yeah, actual content. Yeah, actual but a fucking yeah. armor horse is, is that. That's well, especially when it, when it didn't do anything. When right. it was just but, but cosmetic. Adding, you know, speaking of Skyrim, all those added quests and things that they add to it. Mm-hmm. That that's fair. I, yeah, yeah, when it actually is part of the actual gameplay, and it isn't just a cosmetic change. Right. Okay, sixty-one. Silent Hill Two. We have a winner. YOLO Chris. (laughs) 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 Sorry. (laughs) I've never played any of the Silent Hill games, so please. I've never played one. You should. Really? Yeah, no. I'm not sure. The the, the first one, but see, I really like. um, I'm into horror just in general because my my dad was a a big fan of um, the old Hammer films. And so, you know, I watched those as a kid, which might explain a lot. Uh, but no, I love when I go see a horror movie. I tend to giggle and clap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's like roller, riding roller coaster for me. So when horror gaming, and I mentioned this a little bit earlier with Resident Evil, when horror gaming actually started to come into itself, like the, the first Silent Hill game, is the first Silent Hill later on the? You know, don't tell me. Okay, let's talk about Silent Hill. Do we do we buy, do combine uh, them together? No. Are they combined? Okay, they're not combined. And this is for they're Silent Hill or two. They're, they're, well, they're completely different games. Yeah. That. Yeah, they're all completely different games. But it, within the horror genre, I think a lot of it is is sort of anymore filling a need that is missing from films because a lot of the films have gone to this weird gore torture porn. Yeah, in a way. And this was no. the, the the yeah pretty much yeah. And the Silent Hill films are very. It's it's like a haunted house story in a city. Mm-hmm. Rather, mm-hmm. it's incredibly atmospheric. It was one of those. It's one of those games, Silent Hill Two, especially where you just sometimes you have to run away. There's nothing you can do, you know, and that's that's scary. If you yeah. if you've been, you can't fight and defeat you, the boss. Yeah, there's no way to do it because you're just a human, you know. And these are horrible, you know, hell things that have sucked you into their dimension. I feel like that's scarier. Like, from yeah, Asia no, it really and, is. Uh, what is it, Clock Tower did that? Yeah, Clock Tower. Oh, man, I, I got, I with really the, the scissor man chasing yeah. you around. Yeah. No, and that and that's another thing, um, yeah, in the same genre. So it's not just jump scares. No, uh, it's very atmospheric yeah. the whole time. The the music and the ambience. The fog. The, the fog <laughs> going through. You can't see right. in front you of you. You can't see, you like, can't something's see looming in the distance. You're like, ah! And then you're like, oh, it's a fire hydrant. You can't, see <laughs> as far, you can't see very far in front of you, and the only thing that warns you is something might be approaching is you've got an old broken transistor radio that starts playing static. Oh, God. Is that in yeah. two? Yeah. The yeah. radio two? Okay. I hear two was the best one. Yes. Like, a lot of people like Silent Hill 2. Well, or you can hear shuffling. Yeah, yeah, or hear like and it made sound. It actually made the city seem fall. more realistic because they didn't have to draw everything for you, like get, with the graphics. Mm-hmm. Like you, you, you just knew you were on a city street, and there was these buildings. Yeah. And even the say, map was creepy. It, it was able to be yes. more realistic, more detailed yeah, well, because they didn't have to render the whole city. They rendered fog, and then you'd get up on a specific building, and you're like, wow, this is really realistic. Well, yeah, because yeah, they didn't and have to yeah, fill yeah, in the rest say, of the was the was the fog like a technical way to like hide the pop up as it was rendered? I don't think it's as much as the doors or as any. Evil, but yeah. in the in the first one, it probably was just the, the limitations of the PS2. Yeah, the, 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 the music, yeah. yeah, big time. It was it was very 
a lot of the music was very subtle until you got into But there was battles. also a lot of no music. Yeah, too, which silence, was, which is was a really big have, deal. Like, just kind Creepy. of like Bali Laika style. I don't know how to describe mm-hmm. it. Music. But, like, um, yeah, <laughs> the second one. sounding. Hearing the footsteps. And I think that was another thing with Resident Evil, too, uh, uh, as well, for me at least, was like just even just like the footsteps, like hearing your own footsteps walking in the game. The I, I will say like, that that was a horrible cliche that started because of Silent Hill and those games. Yeah, which is. Footsteps in PlayStation 1 games are so bad in Marvel games. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 no, yeah. but it's yeah. well done in Silent Hill. So yeah, everybody yeah. wears hard soled shoes. <laughs> yeah. And the. the Tap shoes. I was kind of talking about it, the, the, the maps. Like you, you so get a, like draw you have a map, and like, but you as you go through the game, if you find a road that's like completely collapsed, then you go look twice. at the map, and there's a big red X on like it, it now. It, it updates in real time. It takes like you notes draw over it and stuff. Like yeah. you were at draw circles. Yeah, like it's me. Like we gotta go here. here. Like you yeah, go, go, or if here. you talk to someone and they say, "Oh, you gotta go to the hospital and talk to whatever," then if you go to the map and you look where the hospital is, it has a note on it now. That was really now. cool, and you've never that seen that again. No. You guys, but I don't think there's any way that I would play this. Well, and, and <laughs> oh, yeah, and we do. We haven't gotten to, explain. like, when you go yeah. into, like, the dark world. Yeah, there's a mirror flip hellacious. of it. So, uh, just, well, in this game, yeah. not literally a mirror flip. That's a later Silent Hill. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so you've got the atmospheric gameplay into where you've got the foggy, normal world Silent Hill. And then suddenly you hear you'll the hear these sirens. Oh, yeah, okay. the air raid sirens. And you're like, what? Oh. Oh, no, the Japanese are bombing. No, that's not it at all. It's you hear the air raid, and then suddenly the paint starts peeling off of the walls, and everything is wrapped in barbed wire, and it's like you're in this horrible... Cyclone fencing and... Yeah, this horrible Hellraiser... Dark world. Dark world uh, of this little... Pennsylvania town. Mining town. Yeah, yeah. mining town. <laughs> and, uh, no, it's it's wonderful. It's If you are at all, well, Great judging by your face, early, you are not PSP into horror, but if you were, yeah, and, and two this, is really this good. Is it a solved good a lot of the problems. With a group of people, just and, somebody playing yes. and everybody watching. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, it's, I, it's I like finished Silent Hill, movie. yeah. yeah. Um, so some of the few games I've actually finished are these games because we rented them. Or, or I bought to see them. all the endings. Or bought them. I was forced to play them while everyone else watched because I was the only one that could play it without freaking out the most. Yeah. Um, because Rick screamed like a girl. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Morgan would get too freaked out. And, <laughs> and Steven just, whatever, he just wanted to watch it. So... I would be sitting there playing, and everybody's like glued to the TV behind me, like, "Oh my god, yeah, oh my god!" Participation well, kind of game. It's it's uh, awesome. One particular thing about me is that the dark world is a literal representation of my idea of hell. Yeah, so it kind of sat right near. So uh, the first time it, in Silent Hill One and Two, it switched over. That was especially powerful for me because I was just like, "Holy shit!" They have caught. This is exactly what hell is like for me. Mm-hmm. And it's, 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 it's very, and had pyramid ladder, yeah. so You mean you work at a call center? Yeah. Ah! It's all psychological. So, so question then. Yeah. Do you feel that uh, like Silent it. Hill pulled <laughs> off horror better than Resident Evil did? I mean, in a different way. Well, it's a different, different way. Yeah. yeah. It so was, we're it, taking like, like, like Resident Evil is Nightmare on Elm Street. No. Silent well, no. It's less B movie, it sounds like. Yeah. It took itself more seriously. Well, and no, did a it's better not necessarily it, it, it seriously, but it still had humor. Psychological. It was very tongue in cheek okay, because okay. it was too horrible. It still had humor. I, I think I remember there was one point. I think it was Silent Hill Two, where you went into a house and you found a note on like a table, and it was um, something about meeting up with somebody or whatever. And it was a list of names, and it was all members of like REM or something oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, little in jokes <laughs> like, like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, there was but, there was like funny parts, yeah, too. Oh, yeah. But mm-hmm. um, I would I would say that the Silent Hill series. Sorry, I'll, I was just going to talk about two since we we're. Well, I'm Hill assuming two, one or others are later in the thing. Like Sunny and Cher on your variety show, like I got you, each other. And, <laughs> oh, no, and no. we're going to sing a lovely song later on today. But I'm really looking forward to that. Called Silent <laughs> Hill Two. I'm really looking forward. I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to I'm going to okay. sing a song now. Uh, Two fixed a lot Watch of the problems for that. Oh, oh, yeah, he's still dead. And too soon. Too <laughs> soon. <laughs> Sorry, but no. As far as the horror, I would say Silent Hill Two 
is more psychological because it's all. I agree with that. You're, you you yeah. don't have any def- definite. Okay, that's the it, target. It, it's screwing with your head. It's not all the head. jump your scares. Where it's not the trying to yourself. compare it to movies, but you can't really. It's can't, its own no. thing, and Resident Evil is its own thing. I yeah. Think. Okay. Like maybe it's, it's more so John Carpenter, Silent Hill is. Yeah. And it sticks with you too because I have to say this is going to sound so stupid. <laughs> when I play Katamari. And there's the world where there's the gas stations. I think of the gas stations. Shit, it's Silent, Silent Hill. Hill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, the two, I think, kicked it up a notch from, from one. One was innovative. One came out of nowhere. And like I said, it bumped up the whole horror mm-hmm. genre, which obviously I'm kind of into. Uh, because it was very puzzle. It was very cerebral as well. It was scary. But you had a lot of puzzles to solve. And yeah. it's kind of become cliche. Where they'd get, oh yeah, you got to run down the street and find some damn blue Here's triangle ring hidden the bell on and the stairs. ring the bell and then run back and that opens the door. But at the time, that was crazy because you were using your brain parts. You know, it wasn't just shooting things or running away from stuff. And I love puzzle games, so this for me was great. But in one, it was a little clunky. Um, the graphics, it was scary, but it was more jump scares. Two was yeah. much better. Yeah. It kicked it up. It was uh, horrifying yeah, in a psychological way, but it also introduced things that were not just uh, what's that thing in the darkness. There was uh, there was a lot of body horror in it, You know, creatures that had arms in the wrong place. And oh, well, the infamous the scene where you're hiding in the closet, closet and, and you get to watch a character rape another character. But the, the, the fact that they're monsters doesn't help but the at character, all. But the character, the victim character, mm-hmm. is basically four legs in the shape of an X. Yeah. That's Stitched it. together. Yeah. Well, I think like... Wait, was, uh, <laughs> no. There was like a theory that um, that this is actually all in the character's on the mind. side the character's mind. Yeah. yeah. So it, it it messed with your mind in in several different levels in the game, and then uh, you know talking to other fans at conventions or online or whatever, they said, yeah, the fan theories which were credible, and the designers backed them up. Like, yeah, that's totally could be maybe. Why not? Um, sure, we'll run with that one. So yeah, no, Silent Hill. If, I can't faithful recommend movie it enough. Adaptation, I well, yeah, the actually, the, su- the same. Yeah. In the, the first game. one, yeah. It's not on my list. <laughs> so, hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Silent, yeah, the Silent Hill movie two was a lot like the third game. It was okay. almost like line for line the third game, it, wearing the same costumes and yeah, everything. The third game, I the third Silent Hill. The third yeah. game, I got stuck because I kept flipping over to the other world before doing something, and yeah, I, it got I, messy. I, well, if it comes up later, yeah. we can talk about it. So anyway, so, okay, I'm done with Silent there, Hill. There was a, there's a few uh, scenes that I remember, and it could be Silent Hill too. It could not. I have the game, but I haven't played it yet. I've been meaning to. Oh, dude. Um, <laughs> there, there was one scene where there's a torso, like a mannequin. It's obviously a yeah. mannequin, and it's just the torso and the head. And you look at it, and it says, uh, "Looks uh, look kind of lifelike." Then you know, you just walk down the aisle. Mm-hmm. And you're in the darkness, and you hear a scream, like a woman's scream. Yeah. And you go back, and the head it's is missing. missing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it's all psychological. Like, there was another famous scene where you're in a bathroom looking yeah. in the mirror, and you see yourself. It's a complete reflection. In the reflection, you see this substance coming out of the drain slowly, and it engulfs the Oozing. entire room. <laughs> yeah, in the mirror. In the mirror, yeah. and then it becomes real. Mm-hmm. And then you're just in and then you do the mirror flip. in yeah. red, grotesque, <laughs> just oh. flesh. Uh, I think she's getting really bothered. <laughs> okay. no, Tanner, are you gonna play? Like we say, this is definitely uh, a game and no, you play in a no, group. It's not my cup yeah. of tea. It's good. I appreciate it though. The, there was another uh, famous scene where you just you know you walk through this room a hundred times, and then one moment you walk back and there's just mannequins like suddenly yeah. mannequins yeah. Yeah, just, just all stacked all around the walls. Doctor Who episode yeah. like this. Yes, yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, don't link with the mannequins. I'd make a joke about mannequin in the movie, but I can't think of anybody who's in it. <laughs> Andrew McCarthy. Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood. <laughs> Andrew McCarthy and um, that chick from Sex and the uh, Kim Kim Control. Kim Control. Yeah, she yes, played the mannequin. Thank you, that That's one. what happens at the end of Silent Hill. So you. Can smile yeah, Kim Control gets put Let's in a wood shepherd. <laughs> All right, now next thing. Which, which is ironic because Kim Control nice looks more shoes. like a mannequin right. now. Okay. And then. Oh, she was right. Egyptian. Number 60. <laughs> Wait. I just have to say, even the walkthrough book is scary. It is. Yeah. Number 60. <laughs> number 60. Nope, right. sorry. That's not number 60. Silent Hill 2 again? Wait. Chrono Chrono? Wait. It's a Final Fantasy game. Yes. 10. 10. Yes. 10. Uh, X. Uh, not on my them. list. There's a bunch of Final Fantasies right on my list, but not on my list. And the reason it's not on my list is Blitzball. Blitzball. 
Fuck Blitzball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't say that so much, though. I you love don't. 10. I, I do like playing 10, uh, but I did not finish it because I couldn't. I couldn't get past Blitzball. Freaking, yeah, I just, I can't even talk about this. I can't. You know what? I wanted <laughs> to hate this game. Down. When yeah. I hated Sony for killing the Dreamcast, I hated Square for bringing in voice actors. But and Lulu getting, is badass. For, for, Shoot for, like crazy. For, for bringing in voice actors and for ditching the overworld map. Um, I just love the combat too so, much. It so, sucked me in. The combat was. Um, Mike McShane no. is the voice of. Wait, what? Sid, yes. Mike McShane is the voice of Sid. I didn't know that. I yeah. didn't either. Well, no, and it's one of those things, like, we were playing through, and we, uh, uh, Final Fantasy X was the first game we got on the PlayStation 2. We were way late adopters, so we got a used PlayStation 2 and a used Final Fantasy X, and we were totally, like, you know, playing. My idiot brother was Heather playing Heather looks like she's in pain. No, no. <laughs> Final Fantasy talk. <laughs> no, no. I love Final Fantasy. About, I love Final Fantasy. A quarter of our listening audience is hating this fast-forwarding right now. Too, I wasn't that big of a fan of Final Fantasy 10, but I do like Final Fantasy. I was okay with 10. Yeah, if Corey like, were here, he'd be ripping in a new asshole, too. Yeah. I hated Final Fantasy 10. Any, I, anything any... you liked about it? Lulu was awesome. Lulu? Yeah, Lulu was great. The, the Lulu shoe pops yeah. ready. Okay. Uh, like, <laughs> fact, I like the fact that, that I, I, I was Lulu. playing a game that made me want to pimp smack the main character on a regular shoe basis. Crazy. More than Final Fantasy 8. Yeah. So, <gasps> so, wait, wait, who's wait, worse, wait, Titus wait, or Squall? Wait, wait, wait. Titus. <laughs> Titus. 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 Yes. So much more. Wait, what I, if Squall talked? I could handle Squall's mopey ass. If I didn't have to listen to Tidy saying, I'm going to go do this now. I'm going to play bits ball and I don't live up to my dad's standards. <laughs> okay. Fuck him. Was yeah. 10... With a blitz ball. Was 10 <laughs> the one where um, your skills were in the spheres? Yes. Yeah, yeah that was a sphere grid. In the yes. sphere grid. Thank you. I okay. like the concept. The execution was kind of cool. I kind of like that. It, it, so, so yes, it was a jump to a new era. And, you know, it was, it was them trying new things. But at the same time, like... Like the the really the the shorts that he wore <laughs> with, the, with the grid on one with the grid yeah, on one side. Like, like, I what's the name of the, the designer who drew all those? Oh like, come on, do shoot like crazy? Or, or, no, or, maybe no, or, it was or, not a mono. No, no, no. But that was when he that was the first one he stepped away from, right? Because <laughs> didn't a mono do nine? <laughs> no, no. Because uh, um, a mono yeah, didn't work on seven or eight. That was oh, awful. Nine, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he did do nine. Okay. I mean, and this awful. is the main character. <laughs> like, well, and it's you know, it, okay, and and Blitzball. So no like, right? honestly, we went through it. I so here's the Blitzball. thing: I'm playing Final Fantasy games, so I don't have to play sports games. Why are you Thank making you. a sports game mandatory in my Final Fantasy? It wasn't mandatory. You, you, you could lose your Final Fantasy. Yeah, 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 I know. No, no, no. no. It, there was a point left, later. Left not much of an impression on me. The there sports. was, or maybe it was a side quest, but yes. there was a part later where you like had to. You had to win to get win a bunch of shit. X yeah. number of games or whatever, and it was for, like a pretty side. major side quest. I will say, and I was pissed. I got, I got stuck on the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I ended up getting stuck where and that's uh, when I stopped. We were in a, I was in a water cave or whatever, and I got far enough to in there where it was like, oh, cool, I can save, and everything around <laughs> me was killing me, and I didn't save anywhere else. The one thing I will say that I do like about this is that Waka, even though I hated the character. John John DiMaggio, the same guy who does Jake, Bender. That's nice. awesome. That's awesome. And Jake, Jake the dog. Yep. Um, and if you give the Blitzball uh, the ability to stone, mm-hmm. he is a wonderful character to have in your in your party. The the, the fighting engine in this one, they got away from the active time, mm-hmm. and it was yeah. all what if they were all stacked up. You could see ten moves or so ahead, and every action you have would, would change that timeline. Slightly. Nobody's bitched about Riku yet. Hey, uh, Tara Strong. I like Riku. I, I, she's adorable. She was a little bit annoyed, so, but she was normal. My only problem with the characters, really, is Titus. I mean, he really Tiddly is. Nice. And the problem is, is that he's the main character. Yep. He never yeah. shuts yeah. the fuck off. That's the big stumbling block. That's so so, so then why don't you like Ten Two more? I do like Ten Two actually. I put Ten Two on my list. Never played it. I, I actually never played it. After Final Fantasy Ten. I, I know, because it's a girl game. game. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. But I loved it. I loved it. I, that's the only game I have finished well, and it's like twice. Guilty, it's like a guilty pleasure for me. <laughs> Seriously. He opens his... He opens his... Mouth <laughs> so much that, it, you know, if you're going to have voice acting... Were reacting it, to people complaining about the characters not talking, you think? Like overreacting? 
I got the impression this was, it was like they're so going, we got this awesome new technology, let's use it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, yeah. but Look, you we can't can make double, your main star We can do double layered DVDs. Oh, so. But here's the thing. Like, I still love the game. Even though I hated Blitzball and Blitz, my hatred of Blitzball was deep enough that it made me stop playing the game and I never finished it. I still love the it's, game. It's beautiful. Like, the, 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 oh, yeah. the look no, of it oh, is yeah, gorgeous. No, no, I said I was going to say it. Look at the other space. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, she's like, ugh, stop. Oh. The, the graphics <laughs> were amazing for their time. Mm. The, it, the rendering, the, it the looked texture It very colors. good. I mean, like, it, it, was it just. Beautiful. It, it, and I think that's why I love playing 10 2 so much, too, because yeah. it's. It's the game I love without Blitzball. <laughs> well, and it's and I will have to say this was the first and you one. You change dresses. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first one that they really they were able to fix that problem where they were able to render better without using that blur effect like they did from the bouncer. Like yeah. Square had figured out how to develop yeah. for the system by this point. They Can used we just it a little bit. The bouncer on now you're playing with podcasts. Yes. Oh God. <laughs> air guys. Let's talk about air guys. <laughs> But, but I will say, go back to hating Titus um, in uh, in Kingdom Hearts. Isn't that actually, an emo band? Oh, I God. actually started Kingdom Hearts like ten levels higher than I should be, because in the very beginning you had to like your you practice battle was with Titus, and I would just I, I spent hours just beating him over and over and over again, like taking out your aggression. <laughs> I need. I, I think I need to go buy Kingdom Hearts now. It's just wonderful. for that. It was wonderful. So if anybody uh, from Sony is listening, one, don't put Titus in any other game, and two, don't put any sports in any other, other games. They're, they're remaking this one. They're remaking. Yeah, they're doing an HD remix of it. Well, but are they going to HD remix? Ha 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 ha. Oh, I like, hope. Oh. Oh. like crazy. My brother that's, and I. That's like, what my game needs. That's really what more ha ha. More ha ha. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, more I, I swear, my idiot. I can't my, see my them. brother. Paying and the money I to re-record any of that. Dropped the controller. We were laughing so hard at the the shoot like crazy. Like it is the lamest because it's it's before you go into Blitzball, and I had probably played that Blitzball match like seven times, and then you know, but it's him like shoot like crazy. Like you guys are such haters. Uh, <laughs> I didn't like it. I believe we're just because I love <laughs> so many of the other reason. Final Fantasy like so hard. I well, love them so hard, and then ten came along, and I'm, like, I, it had too many factors in it. Yeah, it had that that thing that Final Fantasy does uh, well, where it steps up its, it's game. The, it annoyed me a little, but I didn't have such hatred for oh, it. Oh, but this is one of those things. I mean, we've we've credited so many games for setting very good ambiance to actually, like you know, pull you into the the environment, the area, the story, the everything that it's doing. Then you have something like this that once you're drawn into it. You just want to like push it away, like you just want to push it back. That's, like you just want to get. That, I think that's right what you're there. About it. You, that you right have there. Such a huge pendulum swing, where it's like you can get sucked into this beautiful world with all these great graphics and, and this and awesome magic. combat so, so there's a guy and that's and, taking you along and then to this, all of a this sudden, beautiful island, and it's great. And your 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 uh, tour guide is Titus. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it was, you know, when I well, when I originally played the game, I didn't have any problems with Titus. I was like, okay, all right, I'm just going to deal with it. I like the art. I liked everything, you know. Okay, trying to push it aside because I love Final Fantasy. I'm just like, I'm just going to ignore it, going to ignore it. And then when he laughed, that ha, 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 I was like, it ruined all of my immersion. I was like, mm-hmm. I, I, mm-hmm. I was like... I like it, Orin kicking his ass a lot, so I don't like that character a lot. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 kind of helped me through it. And that's the other problem, too, is that, you know, when they're trying to tell their story and they want you to feel sympathy for that character and you hate that character, you no. don't get that part of the story out of it. No, I mean, it's like, about your great, some more wine, yeah. you know, like, good, side good, suffer. Like, <laughs> Lots of Eunice side boob there. Well, that, that makes it better. Play. So, Not is really. that cancel? cancel? I guess, I and lose know. cleavage deep enough to stick a blitz ball in. <laughs> I didn't uh, maybe either. maybe that's why I like ten two so much. Yeah, yeah, it was it was nice not having. That was like the first thing I noticed. And ten two, like, hey, no Titus. This is gonna be great. Costume changes. <laughs> no, but nobody. You know what? No. There is a part of my heart that is set up so girly. I love the costume changes. Shush. Uh, so here's the thing. No, I wanted no to turn you into a Moogle for Final Fantasy ten. That that's telling. That's no certain. No, not no, even I, me. I like the game. It's not a ten top itself. Not ten. Not ten, but maybe ten two. You're the only person who voted for ten two, Linda. Ever. Well, yeah. Okay, I'm probably also the only person that would have voted for nine if it had made on all my list. <laughs> Excuse me. Because everybody enough, hates nine. Fucking and everybody I loves know. eight. And eight is I a freaking okay cartoon. And nine. the cues okay freak me nine. out. Did you say everybody loves eight? No, yeah. nobody loves I hate it. Eight. I hate it. Eight. I love nine. Thank you, loves eight. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I'm mixing them up. You mean yes. seven? 
Everybody loves seven. No, everybody I loves like, seven. I like everybody seven. seven. Which one is Except eight? Corey? Is eight the one with Squall? Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like eight. Right. You know what? Nine I like eight too. Is a cartoon. Yeah. Okay, Linda. That was on the last episode. I like so eight too. Well, I like eight too. But like, they look like adults. Oh, yeah, but I missed it. Okay, well, what's next? What's next? And the card game is the only side game I like. 59. Guitar Man? Grand Theft Auto? Not quite. It's not Nature's. Oh, wait, Jet Set Radio. Straight Van Halo? Crazy Taxi? No. We're, get, we're getting no, worse with the music. Taxi. Wait a minute. Um, uh, the we're a lot better in the first. Metal? Very good. Twisted Metal. Metal. Yeah. Oh, I don't think oh, Twisted right. Twisted Metal. Exploding right. Ice Cream Which truck. one? Yeah. Real quick, oh, before yeah. we start talking about Twisted Metal, I don't think we're getting worse at the music. I think the music's getting forgettable in this generation forward. Like, it's yeah. the later games that the music's just licensed or just doesn't... Well, this is PlayStation yeah, 1. They're, they're, it's like they're following still. a generic... It's still yeah. getting in that. That's just generic guitar music, 1995 press which, play. Which... Which Twisted Metal? We combined a Twisted combined Metal because we wanted to make the list. Because there were three votes for two, one vote for the Twisted Metal on PS3, and two votes for Twisted Metal Black on PS2. Twisted Metal was one of those games I really liked playing multiplayer. Oh, exactly. By myself, I, uh, as a single player, I didn't even it, it was find like, it worth my time. But I, multiplayer? Mm. Hilarious. Mm-hmm. The, it's Wonderful. like the, the, the fun popping the balloons in Mario Kart. Only it's adult Mario Kart. Basically. Exactly. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, yeah, you get to like shoot people with stuff. And my brother got it uh, for, as a gift from one of my parents' friends. And There's a racing game for you, Timmy. Well, and it's one, it was one of those, like, my parents have their, like, adult party every year, and they would go, like, have fondue, and it'd be like, kids, shut up. We're going to, you go play upstairs. We got to dip cheese. Yeah, we're dipping cheese. And, and, and if so, you know what I mean. What year is this? And we put all our cheese in this I'm bowl. I'm making an orange box joke. <laughs> <laughs> so Is no one going to touch that? We got, uh, he got like, Twisted Metal 2, and it was wonderful. Like... It was a lot of fun. <laughs> so, like, that's a good metaphor. Uh, Mario Kart... <laughs> Mario Kart for adults is a good metaphor because PlayStation is like Nintendo for adults. Right. Back in the, when it came 1995, out. 1995, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, uh, go ahead. I've oh, never played a Twisted Metal game. Uh, I played it. My cousin had a PlayStation no. early on, and that was one of the games we fun? had, and I was okay with it. Have, oh, I have stuff to say about it, yeah. Yeah, let's talk. Did you, did you have it when you were growing up? Oh, no, I rented it. Okay. Uh, so... It was still in that area where, uh, vi- like, very violent, bloody gore stuff was very in. So we were just like, oh, let's see, you know, like, how badly the wreckage was. Like, this is so awesome. And, like, we played so much Twisted Metal. We all we pretty much got brainwashed by it. So, like, we were, dr- uh, like, we were younger, right? And I was driving uh, my mom's car because, you know, I'm a teenager. I don't have my own car. And we come around this corner, and, like, it's a really sharp corner, right? I'm not speeding or anything. There is a school bus coming full, like, speed, almost hits us dead on. And me and my friend are like, whoa. And I was like, dude, that would have been, like, a full life bar. And he goes, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, what's wrong with us? We almost died. We almost yeah. like that was- I, I had That's very, awful. Similar, we had a very similar situation yeah. where it's like it's like this in Katamari Damacy. I've actually had to stop myself. <laughs> it's like I'm driving. I'm, I could roll that license plate. Or, <laughs> yeah. I could roll that up. Dude, the dude, same thing with a- with black, twisted metal. Yeah. Like we we'll walk around like it's it's summertime. Oh man, there's a cicada on that tree. I wonder if I have it in my museum. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. Dri- same thing with twisted metal driving. It's like uh, da, 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 da. ice cream. Oh, truck. check engine yeah. light came on. Oh but, crap. Where's the where's the health thing? <laughs> uh, where's the health? Oh, what, oh, Jesus! That, that early, ah. that early era when they were, you know, making like uncool vehicles cool, like the the ice cream truck and Twisted Metal, Sweet the school and, bus yeah, the and Cruising it. USA. That, yeah, back then it was original and funny. Nowadays it's cliche. Yeah. I don't think they ever it's bring ironic. it back. I mean, that's not even post ironic. Do you think that that era's violence was a reaction to the cute shit that we got? That brought video games back. I think it was stuff. it was shock factor. All yeah, of it was, it was pure. The audience, shock the audience factor. growing it's up. It's like a cyclical thing because, like in Atari's era, they started with like you know the, it was a standard, and then it's like oh let's do naughty porn games, and then like Atari died, and then Nintendo came in, and Nintendo was cute, and then oh well the '90s we have to make everything extreme. Well, I think up until about the mid '90s, right about Twisted Metal, game designers, and I could be wrong because this is just a theory. No, we're following players that they wanted to 
keep the people who played as kids on the okay. Atari. Gotcha. So it kind of scaled up and on the Nintendo. So, it was so a we're more marketing mature. towards And this. then, you know, when we were, you know, graduating high school and college in the mid 90s. You're eating your yogurt for a tube uh, from a tube. I have to market towards you. And now, but yeah, now we're well, at a point where every, every, every is generation for, that's alive has played video games. I don't know. Yeah, well, so everybody knows, knows that the to, mid-90s you know, is when they invented for. angst and... <laughs> and irony and gay people. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> all invented. invented in 1991. Um, Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they invented angst and cynicism when the grunge movement started. So... <laughs> That's when everything got bloody and gory. Well, and it got We're not giving a shit was cool. Well, but that was the thing. They were they were marketing everything extreme, like the the advertisements extreme. at the time. You know, and, and I remember like my, my brother, we started out playing Nintendo and everything was cute. And I remember there was mm-hmm. a level of violence, you know, because we played Mario Kart together all the time and it was cute and there were shells in it and stuff. And cute cartoony then, violence. Right. Yeah. And then you get into to, you know, like there's fire coming out of that guy's car and he didn't get out of it. That means he's probably dead. And like or running over pedestrians in twisted metal. Or, yeah. Just you, yeah. all of a sudden you're just zipping down there and you're just, ah! yeah, yeah, you don't you don't do Guy that in uh, you know I There was death race. Well like you say in the Atari era, there was yeah. death race and the yeah, arcade machine and there was yeah, the but death race. There was a lot of controversy machine. around that too. I mean Yeah, they, that was banned. Yeah. But when did they do it? Seventy seven. And how how long had Atari been doing it wasn't Atari's arcade an arcade machine. game. But, but, I mean, how long were arcade machines around? Well, Pong was 72, so five or so years. So I think we need to do another podcast on the evolution of violence in video games. No, we'll put that on the too. list along with everything. Just everything else. <laughs> like a, I will say. There is a cycle, like, every X number of years, it, it, well, have to the mood changes. Job. Honestly, the theory, and then just, like, theory, just thinking about it right now, I wonder if this is one of those things where it's kind of a result of uh, Senator Lieberman and all of the, um, like, the, the political stance around, like, video games being violent and brainwashing oh, yeah. kids to be violent. Because yeah. out of that, we have the ESRB. Once the ESRB is formed, all of a sudden, game developers are now saying, okay, it's like I have these the blocks. Yeah. I want to fill these blocks. And there's not a block for MA17. There's probably a market for that. Okay. Let's fill that. You know, let's mm. fill that block. So I've got Man violence and God's yeah, sake, I've yeah. got violence, murder, and 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 sex in this. Let's yeah, go I ahead can, and start marketing to that. Yeah, well, I can. I can do these things, and I, you know, I probably knew I could before, but everyone's too afraid given, to. But yeah. now. There's a standard for it. They're Let's being meet that given standard. guidelines to say, okay, we can That's now. That's kind of awesome, actually. That. You guys Where could, before uh, they wouldn't know if they would get nailed. Well, except for the fact that the ratings with video games is way more nebulous. Like, I don't even know how many kids have. You know, they're probably a hell of a lot stricter at a movie theater than they are at a video game store. I think I was like, a, I was a most, terrible we, we, person. We've determined that parents didn't give a shit and were pissed off more. I had to sell. I had to sell if, if the parents said that I had to sell it. But if there weren't wasn't a parent there, I was not going to sell those children. That was my job. Good. Well, but that's you. Right. <laughs> I they, mean, are, they are very but, well. But, but uh, the parents would more times than off often bitch if you. Yeah, because yeah. like Harvest Moon is a teen game because it has uh, uh, alcohol. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys are completely forgetting. Uh, you remember South Park? South Park, the reason it is so popular is because shock value. It was an M.A. When it started. Yeah. When it started. started. Then that's it, how it started. And then which now it's, it's now. almost complete well, cliche. Yeah. But the thing is, is that that era, that was all fresh and new. Yeah, and it's the same thing with these violent video games. These are fresh and new. Right. That was that was a new, that was a, like, let's take something that's fun and let's let's make fire and but it was yeah, but still, now, it was still it was cartoon yeah, but now it's, it's, cartoon. it's, it's a clown in an ice cream truck come on i know clowns are scary clowns yeah, are scary that's why they're clowns fun to blow up i mean it, they're, they're yeah. cartoons yeah. but it's there, there's a difference between it being the realistic kind of violence like what you get with games like call of duty nowadays mm-hmm. versus the the absolutely ridiculous that's cartoony it's not brown oh yeah that too and that that's the thing like the the ultra realistic games the violence is boring yeah. Like, when you beat somebody up in Grand Theft Auto, they just fall over. And bleed. Just, Unless just, you turn on the decapitation blood splurting. Yeah, but, I mean, it's it's really not that exciting. It's not like a cool NES-style explosion, you know. It's, well, it's just, No, yeah. but then there's games played, like Gears of War where you have the chainsaw in your gun and you actually, like, you know, saw it in half. And there's, like, yeah, it splatters yeah. blood and that's not, that's in the camera. That's not cartoony and, nor realistic. It's well, kind of gone to this weird fetishizing yeah. place. <laughs> I, I yeah, find I the violence. I like, the, I like your term torture porn from before. Yeah. Torture porn. Yeah. yeah. I, I I like the violence. You know, not to sound creepy or anything. <laughs> Too late. But the the violence <laughs> in like Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, and and like Grand Theft Auto Three, the ones that are a little less of this 
ultra high definition, really high detailed stuff. I find that much more engaging and entertaining, and the whole game overall being more entertaining than I did with Grand Theft Auto 4. It's a, it's like you get this ultra realism, and it's just like, why am I playing this? This is not escapism. I'm playing in another real world. And that's one of the problems I have with current gaming because they're trying to make it too realistic. I want to escape from reality, yeah. and because yeah, exactly. I want to escape from reality, do not put me in your fucking reality. Right. And that's, put me in something fun and imaginative and different, not the world that I can look outside and see. Yeah, and you know, it's and funny then force me to do horrible things because exactly. when I was playing um, Grand Theft Auto Four, that's the first game where I actually caught myself like following traffic guidelines like i was like stopping at red lights and not crossing the line and stuff and i'm i was like 10 minutes in i'm like oh what am i doing like, out, why am i doing this like <laughs> like i don't have to do this but i but, I, like, yeah. I just found myself i just like you know it was that it was real enough that i was like oh the light's red i should stop wait for the other traffic to go by yeah just a metal two was a good game. Yeah, yeah. I think we kind of <laughs> got away there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Hello, what's the next tangent. game? Fifty eight. That's familiar. Sounds like an eighties. No. Nope. Action no, no, flick. No, no, no. Sure, that's not the startup sound for the Xbox or something. <laughs> It's not like Eternal Darkness, no. And I swear, I, I can see myself sitting in a theater, watching like an 80s... In a world. Where it man sounds been... very familiar. Yeah, it sounds really familiar. Okay. Oh, Deus Ex. Bingo. Nice. Well done. Um, apparently, this is one of Scarlet from Scarletopia's favorite games. I've never played it. Yeah, I'm going to have to yeah. defer this one, too. I've never played a yeah. Deus Ex. Yeah, I've played it. I, uh, Deus Ex is amazing. Educate amazing us. Amazing game. Educate us, O Master. Please. <laughs> How about you, Office, when she went? Well, sadly, I haven't completed it yet. It's been on my to-do list uh, for a long time now. But it's uh, you can play the game... Two different ways. You can play it very brutal, very outright, very, uh, I'm just going to kill everyone that I can see. Everyone that, the next time it pops around that corner, there's going to be a bullet in his head. Very that style. Or you can play it very sneakily, where you uh, go around, um, you try not to be seen. Uh, you essentially go around walls, there's guards patrolling, you know, you're hiding in the shadows, etc. First or third? Um, I think it's a it's like first a, person, yeah. Like over the shoulder first person kind of? Or no, I think it's pure first person. I, if I can remember right, I think it is. And you have to you have to get creative because sometimes you're in these corridors um, where you can't really sneak around uh, the enemy. So what you do is you'll grab objects like trash cans or whatever you can get your hands on and you'll throw them. To make noise, uh, the enemies will react to the noise and get distracted by it, or you can sneak by. It's a very entertaining game. It causes you to kind of think outside the box slightly. If you take that route where you're just not just killing everything in sight, I think it creates its own fun. So, like Metal Gear, uh, like um, uh, sneakity espionage. Very, very sneaky. If you play it that way, you don't have to. You're not forced to. Does this uh, withhold the test of time? Yeah. I totally feel like it does. I think there's a uh, the meme like where there's a screenshot, and then the moment people see it, like people will just reinstall. That's how that's how good it is. It's really good. Sorry, we don't have much to say about it, but uh, yeah, you. I'm the only person that has my brother-in-law's to say. favorite game. Yeah, it's, I bring him out here. I'm sure everybody doesn't want to talk on one on of my top podcast. ten. One of my top ten. I don't know why I didn't put it. I did put it down actually. Did you put it, were you the? Were you were? Was I the person that put it down? Well, I don't. Oh think yeah. You, I don't yeah. Think you, I don't think you weren't a guest because you weren't a guest yet. So that's why you're not a guest voter yet. You're a guest now. Now Yay! you're a guest. All right. Yeah. But too too late for this. Ten years from now, when yeah, we do the top one hundred again. Something else then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fifty-seven. Bring it. Uh. Earthbound? I won't tell you Earthbound. I hear those little alien sounds. Sexual chocolate. Recently released on the Wii U. Like two days ago. Yes. <laughs> With the strategy guy. Yeah, and guess what? Now the Gretchen game's going to be affordable finally. Yay. It'll be less than $100. Yay. <laughs> and everyone's complaining about how much it costs. Everyone's upset about how much it costs because it's $2 more than a regular. Oh, yeah, it's nine ninety nine. Okay, because like, games have no value at all, so you should not pay money. Really? Ever, yeah. Ever games. Games. A game that costs over 100 bucks in real life. Really, people like buy it because if you're complaining about how expensive it is to get a physical copy of 
the game, buy it just so that we, they will release the versions that never hit stateside. I don't know. I found my copy for ten dollars, so I'm better than everybody. You too. found my copy for ten dollars too. <laughs> so why is it a hundred bucks? Is it just is it yeah. just an import? Now it goes for well over a hundred. So it's card only. The, That's one the, I wish I had. Uh, Mother but three, I did play the back sequel in the day, on the, so. the N64, never hit stateside, mm. and then the original one for the NES never hit stateside. Oh, okay. So the reproductions. So. Mother three came by fans, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, Game Boy Advance. Other ones, NES, just Super NES, then Game Boy Advance. It was I, originally I, supposed to be N64, though. I tried playing it. I didn't think it was that great. <laughs> I had so what problems getting into the first. This is an. It's a role-playing game. It's it's a, actually called Mother Two. It's a sequel in Japan, but came out here as Earthbound. It's a Dragon Warrior style RPG basically. or Final Fantasy style, like 2D style. Yeah, but you're like a little kid in like modern times. Yeah, it's it's like a, it's a parody of the U.S. as through like a Japanese filter. That's Basically. wonderful. <laughs> and you fight like lamps and teddy bears and, and apparently crazy neighbors. Wait, what system is this on? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So do do you guys know the the thing that they did to stop piraters? Oh, you can't beat the game. That's like, no, no. The, yeah. the, the 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 right the the. The enemies are all like impossible to beat. No, no, there's like no. one certain thing. There's at the a end, there's like... a glitch where if you go to the final boss's thing, can't do anything, so you have to reset the game. You reset the game and it erases your save. But you did get hours of enjoyment. You, you did. Got all the way to the yeah. end. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you just can't beat it. And apparently, like the final boss is the creepiest freaking thing ever. The one, the like, one like wait, interesting um, that, uh, pi- pirate piracy pirate to stop pirates. If you, if you pirated the game, they there's knew like a check. Like yeah. an anti-piracy measure. Oh, so if you have it, you, you have can it, you, finish you, you it. You can finish it, but yes. If, oh, okay. If you pirated it, if you were, if you were naughty pants, and you so got confused. Oh, wait, the one what? thing I think that's really cool about this game is uh, your power. It's like a um, like a flywheel slider, like number, like kind of like a the alarm clock on an iPhone. And when you get hit, your numbers start dropping down. And if you get a turn in before your numbers get down to zero, and you get your health item. Uh, It'll take it from there, and you won't. So it's it's kind of time based. Isn't yeah. that like the simulation of the um, like the the pencils that you roll for um, for points in like a lot of games in Japan? Oh, I, I don't know. I, it, it's more like a odometer than anything else. Yeah, like the old school alarm clocks that had the flip numbers instead of the LED. Yeah, because yeah, there's there's a lot of games in Japan that. Um, like, they'll have a pencil, and the pencil will have um, you roll you roll eight numbers on it. You just yeah. roll the pencil on the table, and whatever number's on top is what you get. And um, no, I don't think it has no. anything to do with that. No. I think it's okay. more, yeah, more based on just, like, alarm clock or, yeah. Gotcha. I, I, I get frustrated with this game because it's so fucking overpriced, and you combine Nintendo fans with RPG fans yeah, that way, you, way over. You want to get really shot. angry? And it's not, huh? it's not get that really uncommon. Angry? Did you write, you put it on your list? Oh, no, it, I didn't put it on my list. There you go. No. no, 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 no. Go online and search for the air freshener that was a send away that was in the original strategy guide. The, the game was sold in a large box. With the strategy guide. With the strategy guide. And the strategy guide had scratch box? and... St- it, huh? <laughs> huh? No. Um, it had scratch and st- sniff stickers in it. And there was a way that you could get... You could send away and get a, an air freshener. That's sealed in plastic. That's sealed in plastic. Yeah. yeah they're, they're like $250 for an air freshener. Mm-hmm. Fucking Nintendo. Shinji, what kind of marketing thing can we combine with this video game? How about air fresheners, Bob? <laughs> no wonder. Sounds so great. Yeah, scratch and sniff <laughs> are like, are like It did have booger. a bizarre, like, yeah, fart yeah. flavor, yeah, scratch and sniff. Yeah, like, why would anybody want to buy this game kind of thing? But well, And know, RPGs was... still hadn't hit mainstream Oh, yet. also it had a retro look when retro looks weren't. No. Hip. Is it like, just me, like but the Donkey more they Country talk about then, this you know? game, the more it makes me want to play it. I'm like, you oh, yeah, like I'm kinda, I've never yeah, seen no. this game. With scratch and sniff stickers? Going, this is the uh-huh. most awesome game ever. Possibly. In yeah. 1995, oh, yeah. it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's so rare. That's I mean, part of why it has a cult. Yeah, because it, it's, it's like Weezer's And that's, and that's the thing. Game. I would I would <laughs> yeah. equate it to it's having a cult. <laughs> RPGs. <laughs> it, it looked intriguing to me. I mean, I played it probably... I mean, I had a friend that owned it when it first came out, and uh, I don't know. I wasn't interested enough to get it my, myself, but I did play th- almost through the whole thing, and I don't know. I, I'm kind of with Chris. Like, well, it's, it doesn't need to be that much. It's not It's not the greatest game ever. <laughs> yeah. I think if yeah, it so weren't so rare, surreal, it wouldn't have, have the legendary status. Right I think it's rarity and it's goodies that came with it. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. unique. Uh, even from Nintendo, it's pretty unique, too. And it was cool they put Ness in Smash Brothers Melee. Agreed. All right. 
56. We're getting down to the end here for tonight. Mike Tyson's punch out. Mike Tyson's fucking punch out. I didn't vote for this game, but I should have. I love this game. Uh, so it's not I, like anybody else can beat it. Can boxing? they beat it other than me? I watched no. Chris beat no, it. I it was really, up. really entertaining. Um, uh, so uh, it's not like a regular regular boxing game. It's almost more like a puzzle game. Like you kind of have to memorize what's going on. Pattern recognition. Yeah. I never really thought about it that way. I just I started playing it and then I put it down because at Did, that point in time, past, like the second. Yeah, yeah, because I didn't want to be angry by a game. It was. It goes back to that escapism thing you're talking yes. about. Yes, like exactly. I want to work, but not this hard and not this repetitively amount. I will say I really enjoyed Nintendo's racism. <laughs> Uh, it was a simpler time. In, in Japan, they don't have the same issues with race that we do. They, right. they, there's, well, they don't have Honda. slavery and stuff. They just it's, don't care. Right. Well, that too. And they don't have PC <laughs> bullshit. And, it was hilarious. Oh, shit. And Mike Tyson was a fucking badass. He was probably still one of the biggest badasses in video game history. I was awesome. And and I knew something Chris didn't know. If you put, on, if you put in the Nintendo phone number as one of the codes... To try to get to, you know, one of the things like there's there's the pass key, the, the pass key in there. Yeah. If you put in the Nintendo phone number, it does a busy signal. Uh, <laughs> like the hotline, wow. tip line. Nice. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But, yeah, because awesome, they, awesome game. One, a Nintendo classic. I wish I'd voted for this one. Yeah, it looked it it great. Speaking of Nintendo phone number, you know you can still call the number that's on the back of your NES, and it's still the same. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> Nintendo number. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it, it was my my best friend had it, and I know he got to, I know he got to Tyson, but I remember watching, like, it was so cool because you didn't know who you were going to fight next. And it's like, oh, cool! What racist stereotype is coming up? Yeah. I, you know, I was I was like seven or eight years old, so this is where I learn about all of these other nationalities. All right, that was that track game was kind of you know what I'm talking about with the uh, the pad where you had to run on it. It was kind of like that. You Power were pad. you were kind of wondering what the next opponent was going to be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, that was it was it was it, fun. It, 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 it makes me crazy. so anxious though this game because I'm just like. I don't. How far can you get? Oh, I can't play. Oh, oh just like, I will sit there and watch everybody maybe. play. I, have fun. Really? Yeah, I never. I yeah. could never. I guess you didn't have an NES back, and I did. You? I didn't. But I also, I just, I'm just like, it's like fighting a boss. Like they're all sometimes boss I fights. don't like fighting mm-hmm. bosses in games. Like I stop a game and come back to it later because I don't want to fight the boss because I want to figure out what its weakness is. Right. Too much it's, anxiety. Yeah, yeah, and I get really anxious about it. So I have this. It's every level is this. Yeah. So. Remember not being able to be King Hippo for the longest time, and then once I finally figure out how to be King Hippo, the rest of the dominoes fell pretty quickly. Mm. Just Tyson was Tyson took some time, but yeah, it's, it's, it, it, he's not. It's just it's it's speed. I mean, once hit, the pattern recognition for him isn't so horrible. It's just he's so fucking fast. Right. Wait, did you remember the passcode to get to Tyson? No. Okay, we. No, he went straight through. Right. I went straight through, motherfuckers. He got into yeah, that, baby. No, it's uh, I did I did that painting of yes. the Cincinnati skyline, and then I one did, of our t-shirts, by the way. Yeah, little Mac. Screen dot com slash uh, nypw shop. Um, Little Mac and uh, Doc, <laughs> and it was so Screened iconic. It was a yes. really, really iconic thing, Him and it know. looked so good back then because you knew exactly, you know, what area he, they the, were going through. The gra- graphics on the system were great. Mike Tyson's punch up, probably the best graphics on the NES. Right, right. I mean, the, the the size of the characters, you did not have characters exactly. that size. Well, they were huge. Yeah. 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 And, and it, the flow was great. There really wasn't a whole lot of, you know, like if you have too many sprite, like things going on on the screen, you didn't have that problem in that game. It just looked good. It had did, great flow. Did anybody play the arcade version? I played it. Yeah, I played it the arcade version. Because yeah. the arcade yeah. was like the first one, like a few years before. And, and it, it was two screens and you were like a wireframe guy. And it's something. That's, yeah, that's vodka. the one I played, and I could never it's get past it. It's not soda pop in that It's one. right. It's vodka drunkinski in that. <laughs> nice. I didn't like being angry in my living room. I wasn't going to go out to a video arcade to be right, angry. Right, but this this one was first. No. It was at the bowling alley my parents went to, and so I saw it every other Sunday, and it was brutally hard. And that's but then the, the and NES version was different because they had to be one screen instead of two, and. You actually could see, instead of being a wireframe, they just made your guy short so that you could see the whole thing. I actually think the Nintendo version is more immersive than the wireframe. Oh, yeah, and it's easier, too. The controls aren't as mushy. And, well, and i yeah. got to say, it's pretty cool to watch the little guy, like, you know, like all right, I'm going to uppercut this guy. And he, like, jumps up and, like, bam. Yeah, I well, mean, you see the, like, it's like the, the David and Goliath scale yeah. of your little character versus, like, the, the bigger characters. And Mario was in it. Yep. 
And I, I, it's totally... Meh, meh, and the meh, sequels were good. Meh, meh, I mean, not, not better. They never exceeded the first one, but I always enjoyed them. I liked the Super NES game. I liked the Wii game. Um, Super I, Patch Out had some amazing animation, too. Yeah. Too. L- little... Some of the stuff's annoying, but yeah, it's it's one of awesome the best game. One of the best It's an NES classic, yeah. and it's also one of those... Are you actually good at video games? Can you beat this one? That's kind of one of those benchmark games. I am not good era. at video games, but damn it, I'll watch people do it all day long. <laughs> yep. All right, 55. I beat Battle Kids. So no. <laughs> well, yeah, they, they, yeah, that's a fuck you back, isn't it? Super Mario Bros. 2, or Super Mario Brothers, or Super Mario USA. Doki Doki, Doki Panic. Panic. Honestly, my favorite Mario game. Um, I, I voted for one because of the influence it had on me when to buy an NES. But yeah. when Mario Two came out, holy shit balls! The that that was. I just said Mike Tyson was the best graphics. Mario Two had the best graphics <laughs> were you ever on the one? NES. Huh? Were you disappointed though that you couldn't? Because I remember most people were just like, "Why can't I stomp on these?" characters no when it came out absolutely not it was, if no. you played three first then yes but if you played two first before three yeah two was incredible but uh, no if you played one first and then went to two you went to because back but then it was, it was nintendo I mean, like companies were not making their sequels the same right right like look at zelda 2 versus zelda 1 right yeah. track and I field. actually didn't have any problem uh, i just assumed this was the new thing like right uh, the and ice. the girls could play as princesses, like all the girls I went to school with. They were like, "Oh, the princess is awesome. We could fly with her." And nobody wanted to use Toad. I did. He was I great. Toad. He was he fast. fast. Yeah, he could dig so, really. Fast. So he could dig fast. He could pick things up fast. Every so time. the the <laughs> ice. I remember the 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 mechanics in that ice level. Damn. Yeah. That was some slippery freaking ice. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I love how when you duck and your face gets all red and you jump yeah. higher. It's so fun. Well, and like, oh my god, one of my favorite things because it's so cute. When the bombs go blow up, they say bomb. Bomb, yeah. That's awesome. And Wart was a pretty tough boss. I mean, that he beating was, that game, I was. Well, my, and, my, my, and Birdo I took was me. a girl. That game is that's the hardest Today? Mario game. No, I think it's harder than Lost Levels. To me, it is. Bur- Birdo's. Uh, that's a stretch, but yeah, it is hard. Birdo's not a girl. I'm sorry, <laughs> Becky. Birdo is a male. Yeah, I think that's the one where oh, they actually the established. I don't think that. I don't think in the American in the... version it was that way. I think that they finally they brought that version it? over. But at first, I think it was just a. What girl. was in the? What was what in the? Here? Hold on. What it was it? Was it the American version that got it wrong, and said that Birdo was a boy? Who wants I don't to be really. And the in the the there was some controversy. I can't remember what. But I, I, all I remember is it's funny now because right. Nintendo th- did a. I think the deal was Birdo. Was actually male dressed as a female. I think that was the the deal. In, in Japan, it, had a, it was yes. Okay, so. And then when it came over here, I just, don't think they was that wasn't obvious back then when I was playing it. It wasn't uh, obvious. I, I was just in filled in on it recently. It well, not recently, but I had no idea. So, so I tell just us why you hate this game, Jen. Never no, played. I, no, I, I never played this one. I really liked one, um, and three was pretty fun. But uh, by the time two came around, I was playing other stuff. So. Oh no! I believe it. Yeah, I never had this so. one. Yeah. I like that it brought back the, um, the the power block. Well, what's that? The power block came that back was from cool. Donkey Kong. Well, that, but also if you go to the left and you come out or to, on the right side of the screen, because that was from Mario Brothers, yeah. the yeah, original. Yeah. Um, at least the enemy. Oh yeah, yeah, on the vertical yeah. stages. Yeah, that was yeah. pretty that was cool. cool. And they used that in Mario Three too. Um, well, actually, the they need to bring that back. You know, one the thing though, was from Mario Brothers, wasn't it? That's what I meant, not Donkey Kong. Mario Brothers. Yeah, Mario Brothers. The slot machine and that's the only way you get one ups yeah that's cheap i don't like that you know because i can't, you can't do figure out the timing there's timing oh yeah okay if you, if you get a bunch of well here's i've the tried thing. all sorts of timings <laughs> you can get unlimited coins if you kill yourself in subspace when you pick up the coins because okay. normally you can only get it twice per stage but if you find an area of subspace where you can die uh-huh. pick up the coins die go back pick up the coins die so you can get like 50 some oh, coins okay. then you can figure out the pattern of the cherries and you can get hundreds of lives and you, you, go to, you go to crazy ASCII characters after, like, so many. <laughs> so you're like, you know, you have, like, star heart number of men left. Yeah. Kind of like the tur- like in Mario 1 when you kept hopping on the turtle and mm-hmm. you'd get lives, 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 and then it was just, like, shapes. and You were like, just, like, you were, like, crown square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Mario 2 is very underrated. I'm glad it made the list. People do like it. Obviously, it's not anywhere near the top like the other ones. I still and, love yeah. the excitement of... Uh, 
like um, picking up one of the vegetables, having a little rocket ship like, little fly out. Oh, man, that's, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was awesome. That stout rocket, yeah. That, I think I think my brother got that as a very early game, and that after he beat Super Mario Brothers. And it's all the dream. Spoiler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, it's all a dream. All right. Is that the first game that had like the snot coming out of the nose of the Mar- of the yeah, Nintendo yeah. character? Was it snot like, or was it out of his? Yeah, I guess it was out of his nose. Yeah, wasn't yeah. It? Snot Whenever that's, Nintendo characters that's sleep, a, that's snot Jap- bubbles yeah, come that's out. That's a of their Japanese nose. thing. Okay. Yeah, this is a typical like anime thing. Like Mario RPG, I think has the same thing. Yep. See, now I'm just thinking about that Wario game where you had to suck the snot back up your nose. <laughs> There's one that did make the oh, list that I'm really sad it didn't. All right, fifty-four. Oh, that is it's Portal. Portal. Oh, so Portal Two was Yay. on the list. Portal Two was on the list previous, but Portal is on the list here. Wonderful. We Wait, voted to separate the, the two. Mm-hmm. Which good, good, we good choice. What we must because we. Oh, so, dang! Alex, how is this not on uh, my list? I like the song better in Portal Two. A lot better because it wasn't so overplayed. You know, maybe I, I never know. played Portal Two, and I had weird reasonings for not playing Portal Two because. Portal 1, they didn't have the same team that made Portal 1, so it's like, I know it's it's a stupid reason not to play it, but I, I really like how just different Portal 1 was. It had some... It was unique at the time. It was unique. Oh, yeah. It had some weird heart to it in a weird way, um, and then I felt like they just like, oh, Portal 1 was so successful, let's make Portal 2, and then I was like, eh. Would you have combined the two games? Are they kind of the same thing? She hasn't played it. I haven't played Portal I haven't 2. Played those yeah. Anybody played both of them? Yeah, yeah, I have. I would not combine them. No. Portal 1 did, and deserves to be higher, too. So, because it's a perfect game. It is. <laughs> another right. one. Well, I don't Another know that it's perfect, but it's, that's perfect. What? It, it's innovative. It, yeah. it was unique. Really revolutionary. I mean, yeah, it really, revolutionary. That's yeah. what I mean, I'm looking it, for. It broke a lot of standards and walls and what you could and couldn't do. And I mean, it really. No pun intended. Freaking yeah. Cool. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. It, uh, it, it gave you, you it gave a, you a tool. Joke, by the way. Yeah. It, was, it gave you a tool and you could do. Too easy. It seems like yeah. an infinite amount of things with you mm-hmm. you're constantly you could play the game 10 times and still find new things I that are I couldn't play it agreed I can't I can't the, my brain yeah. can't wrap around the the camera see I think that of this is a puzzle game yeah no definitely yeah. it totally is and it rewards it totally experimentation is. and it oh, re- yeah. rewards exploration I mean it's really this is a fantastic I mean this is probably Not even uh, like the first person reward, games uh, necessarily but it rewards you with just like a uh, Euphoria. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, anyway, yeah. well, it lets you it lets you try something, and it gives you a result. I mean, it's it you know it won't just it, it doesn't put up barriers for just the most to part. You I mean, down to one path. Yeah. Right. I mean, it it really lets you just experiment and play, and it gives you multiple ways to solve you know the different mm-hmm. the different stages. I mean, it's it's mm-hmm. fantastic. So, I, I haven't played it. So the more elaborate stages later on, is there only one solution, or can you? Mul- is there? No, there's there's multiple solutions, and Even it, it doesn't it doesn't penalize yeah. you for being straightforward, but it allows you to experiment. Yeah, yeah. So, so but that, that would the, seem the, to be very important to me if I played it. The, the most classic, like, of movies and games, they, they give you a really great thing, and then they, they embellish it and it, with something even greater. So this one, it's a great puzzle game. It's got, you know, these 20 or whatever levels that build a little bit, but then it gives you a story. Yeah, then and, that's important uh, to me, anyway. That has been creeping up on you, and you didn't even know it, <laughs> like, throughout the entire game. Uh, and that just... It's stratospheric. Yeah. <laughs> How good it is. And GLaDOS was fantastic. Mm-hmm. And it's a good game to watch people play. It Once once you have it down, you can play it in about an hour or less. It's fun for people just to watch oh, yeah. it. Well, it's also, it, it's culturally invasive. Mm-hmm. Even people who haven't played the game know what it is. And even if they don't know what it is, the cake is a lie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah it, I've never played it. It's... it's <sighs> It became um, a meme, but an independent meme. Yeah. So I guess a yeah, meme I mean, of I've a meme, never which is, it, yeah, but you know exactly what cake is I know what the cube is. Mm-hmm. Like, and I, the cube, I, I, yeah. Oh, the cube, which they, cubes. Didn't, they had no idea that that would oh, be Oh, my gosh. And it broke my heart. Yeah. Well, I, and that was the point, I guess, yeah. for the command and cube to... You get uh, your companion cube back at the end of... Yeah. Portal. Okay. <laughs> Spoiler! Ah! All right. Down to three. You got three to go. We're getting a little tired here, but I think we can push through. Fifty-three. Silent Hill. Yep. Silent Hill. Yay! <laughs> this is it's my bad girl. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> well, I think though we did talk pretty much when we talked yeah, about we Silent Hill. Yeah, we pretty much too. covered it. Covered, we covered it. a lot. But of it. yeah, this was it was 
in my opinion, I said it before, uh, it, it's groundbreaking. It brought horror gaming into it, itself. It, it Here's one of the best of demos. Non yes, best demo. Too. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, and I, and I also I have to say that um, the Silent Hills are one of the few games that are a you know big time commitment that I've thought. I need to go back and play that again. Yeah, they, they've got like, high playability. Besides the Final Fantasy games, like Silent Hill is the only ones that I've thought, I, I need to go back and play that again. I, it's been a long time since I played that game. I know I, there has to be other game. There have to be other games where um, the choices you make affect the outcome, moral choices that you make. But this is the first one that I can remember where you had different endings based on what you did, yeah, what you did throughout the game, the kind of well, quote-unquote person you were. So do you agree with the rankings with Silent Hill 2 falling behind the first one? I think one? Silent, 2, uh, Silent Hill 2 was a better game overall, but it would not have been possible without Silent Hill. The, the fact that Silent Hill existed opened the door for the entire survival genre. We wouldn't have amnesia without this game and amnesia is an amazing survival horror game I, that I agree with this horror. that plays uh, into the, the the style that Silent Hill introduced it's the the paranoia that you can't always fight you have to solve these puzzles rather than just blam blam shoot them run on through you can't always see what's you can't always see what's going on um, great bring John Cena into this <laughs> <laughs> wrestling joke so, yeah oh, no, no. Well, well overall I think <laughs> As a, as a game itself, number two was better. I agree with the ranking because without one, we wouldn't have this genre and, at all. And honestly, I, I they both the got ranking. six votes. The mm -hmm. only tiebreaker was the, uh, one of the former guests voted for Silent Hill 1. Mm -hmm. That's the right. only reason they had us. And that's how tight, packly, tight, tightly packed either. these uh, choices are. Mm -hmm. I agree with the ranking simply because, like Jen said, it, it was groundbreaking and revolutionary. Silent Hill 2 was just, it was a refinement mm -hmm. of what Silent Hill 1 And it was, was. next gen. And it, it was next, next gen. And and next I think gen. Silent, Silent Hill is more impressive on PlayStation 1 than Silent Hill 2 is on PlayStation 2. Silent Hill yeah. 1 is a late, very late PlayStation game for PS1. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that matters at all. What was that? That was um, 98? 97? 98 or 99. 90, 98. Well, 98. Yeah, 98. You were playing that game the first time we met. Yeah. Aw. Oh, shit. I was scaring the crap out of myself when I met you. didn't hear that. Yeah. Is that the next game? Aw. No. Aww. Well, that's okay. We can move on. We can move on. Right, next. 52. Street Fighter? <laughs> two. Yeah, I can name that video game in just two notes. Chris is jamming out. This, is on, this has got to be a Genesis game. Yes. What'd you say? Oh, I was just saying you're just Joe Jam and Earl then. Well, Jam is in there. Oh, cool. NBA Jam. Oh, jam. Yay, NBA, NBA Jam. jam. Okay. NBA Jam. All right, Bill Clinton. Yes. You win. <laughs> yes, I, this is. Uh, oh wait, this is all sports games, right? Is this game? NBA Jam. Is that what we decided? <laughs> what <laughs> NBA Jam? <laughs> sports, no, no. They, 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 all the sports games debacle. are the same. Joe Jam. Okay. And they're NBA Jam. Uh, technically. Uh, no, we did include we sports this. jam or something. Uh, yeah, we finagled it. The college. That. Yeah, three votes. College jam. Three votes for Genesis version. Two college votes for the slam. SNES version. One vote for college slam for the Genesis, which it's NBA jam with colleges. So we threw it in here. Um, because we wanted this on the list. We Yeah, and it, it's fine. I'm And, yeah. We, I don't think there was much of an argument on this one. No, no, no. I have, uh, I have a friend about. from yes, high school and list. junior high and... and Came out when I was in junior high, and every time I see him, which is maybe once a year, we play NBA Jam. Do you boom shakalaka? I we boom shakalaka. We you know, uh, there's we're a, on fire. The uh, the announcer from that apparently there's a uh, dirty version that he recorded. Like, get that shit out of here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there's awesome. recordings on out there. I don't know if they actually made a ROM for it or not, that's but funny. that's awesome. That that's that's a thing. Growing sports up, games. Great... I don't play sports games, so you guys take it. You know what? I mean, growing up, I was never into sports, and this was like the first sports game that I actually went and bought. Like, Pick I up and play. loved this game. It was yeah. so much fun. I mean, it was. It had a very arcade feel to it. You didn't have to know basketball. It wasn't trying to be realistic basketball. It was just fun. The games are always pretty close and down to the wire. It, it, somehow, it's balanced that it's it's exciting every game. Um, there's the uh, jump up. Fifty feet in the air and two three flips. So is that like the most nineties thing ever? Since it has Bill Clinton in it. Yes, Bill Clinton. You can have Bill Clinton versus Al Gore. Yeah, it's okay. awesome. Yeah, 
<laughs> you could play as the mascots. You could play as the programmers. Oh, it does not have Michael Jordan because Michael Jordan was his was licensing. He golfing was, at that point? Oh. No, he he. The way that baseball? his image was licensed, he yeah. was he had his own games like yeah, Michael my, Jordan in the Windy Chaos, City. Chaos in the Windy City. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got like Scottie Pippen and. But Shaq was in it, wasn't he? Someone else. In fact, I think the legend is Shaq. Part of his writer's contract, they had to carry an NBA Jam arcade machine from city okay. to city while they were on the road. <laughs> nice. Classic. That's yeah. like you know, oh, I want that to be true. In real life. I, mean, I want that to be true yeah, really that's, hard. That's, <laughs> see, because that's, like, that's like us playing Grand Theft Auto 4 and following the traffic. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. Why would a basketball player <laughs> want to play a basketball game? Well, because it was so cartoony. Know, and over the, it was, it was, it's awesome. Cool. That's just how awesome that game was. Because he's yeah. so passionate about his sport. Yeah. And uh, like I said before, like the sports games that got away from realism were always better than yes. the realistic sports games. They're playing sporty games. Sorry. Sporty Spice. <laughs> That's very 90s. My little girl spice was said, I had a dream where dinosaurs was playing a sporty game and I was their coach. <laughs> <laughs> like, what kind of sport was it? It was a sporty game. <laughs> Is it stealing? That's yeah. adorable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kid. Kid the anecdotes. Wonderful. See? Our All mascot. sports games are the same. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I think we've already said our name before. Okay. So the last one of t- tonight's segment... This was the number one game among the hosts. Really? Three, of, three of the four of us voted. Fifty-one. Mm-hmm. Three oh, of the dear. four of us voted Good for this. Grief. And um, I can't know what music is. Well, yeah, you'll, you'll, everybody will know what it is, but let's. Uh, uh, can I guess before we play the music? Oh, Final Fantasy too. Bam! <laughs> we got married to this music. <laughs> Thank you for choosing the Red Wings, by the way. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Which is awesome. Sorry, this is the Red Wings. This is the music that you fly into the game to. Yes. And what I walked down the aisle to. And what my husband walked down to the aisle to. We got to meet uh, Nobu Uematsu, the guy who did the music. And he, Tad, and I were there. And we were like, hey, we walked down the aisle to your music. It was really great. Because <laughs> both of us were just like, Bleh. It was really cool. Aww. Yeah. And I had a nice shirt. And he was, he was like, Slimu, nice shirt. I'm like, that's so awesome. Nice. I thought I was geeky for walking down the aisle to the pod dance from Dark Crystal, but damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, they had Brennel Floss, like, write lyrics for that. Yeah, I mean. we had, yeah. yeah. Oh, the, my God. Yeah, yeah, so, they, so you guys win. Fans, if you've heard the Brentel Floss uh, Final Fantasy IV theme of love with lyrics, not the um, version he did by not the Cartman, Cartman one. but the version that's actually serious... That's us. We are Becky and Tatton. <laughs> We're your hosts, and we love so this game. All of our listeners can now be just absolutely <laughs> jealous of our geek cred. This is this is on my list. <laughs> you're almost, well, you're almost geek good, hipsters. Becky. Shut the fuck up. Wait, <laughs> really? No. I would hope it's you're on your list. You're just so, jealous. So which one of us? Did, I was in a ceremony. Yeah. Which you didn't put this on the list. Did you play it? Have you played it? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Really? It's not top 25 good, but it's good. <laughs> cool. I, I would put Final Fantasy VI above it. I like, also didn't put that on my list. I wrote, a bunch of, I wrote a bunch of fan fiction and did a bunch of drawings. And like, oh, no. Yeah. So, I took wow. the, 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 the one book. Like, I cut out all of the, the, like, the Super NES strategy guide from Nintendo. Like, I cut the pages out and made my own strategy guide for it. Like... Oh my god, I was about this game so hard it wasn't even funny. And by the way, it's it's two. Everybody played Final Fantasy two on the Super NES. And it's asshole sorry. that says four. And except for those of us who have actually played, played four. two as well. Or two yeah. at no, this point if unless we played, you played two on the Super Famicom or the that's No, 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 yeah, no. Two. I haven't played two on the Super Famicom. I've played a two. We have a reproduction of two on, on the, the NES. NES. But it's two J. Because really, the one J. that we played growing up was was, was two on the Super two. NES, and NES was, was says four, yes. and it was that translation. It Unless was they say Bards. Super Famicom all the time, and then call the Street Fighter characters by their real Japanese names, then I'm going to be that asshole. Well, yeah. <laughs> but we walked down the aisle to this, and it's on my fucking list. And if you want to have a problem with it, we can throw it down right now. Okay? I can maybe. Um, Why do I want to fight everybody so, at the end of these? Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's just when Nerd Final fight. Fantasy Nerd comes fight. up. Podcasts are being picky, angry, booty <laughs> bored. Girls, <laughs> girls, you're both pretty. Podcast and serious Whenever business, y'all. Game, I, I borrowed a super. I didn't have Slow a super. Roll. I borrowed one from a friend, and he let me borrow Chrono Trigger, 
Final Fantasy 2 and Final Fantasy 3. Oh, wow. That's late. Yeah. So yeah. that was the first time I played it, and I was just... Compared to those two, it's, yeah. right, that, that's not much. Um, 1991, when I got a Super NES really early and rented this game... And I'd played the first one. This was such a jump over the mm-hmm. first one because yeah. there were yeah. two games we didn't get in between. It's got a plot. It has a, yeah. it was the first game I played with a plot. And, and characters that, that And died. the music sounded like a real yeah. orchestra. Yeah. Yeah, not only a plot, but it gave you... I mean, there were lots of things. I mean, this was the first game that I played. I mean, it was the first role-playing game that I really got into. First one that I beat. It was the first one where heroes weren't always heroes. Villains weren't always villains. And you'd never it, seen Star Wars. No, no. I mean, it was <laughs> it was very... Because that's what this game basically is. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. No. It's, it's, it's Star Wars. <laughs> but it, um, I mean, it, it, it just... It gave you, I mean, it gave you just, there was just such an emotional roller coaster through it. I mean, it killed characters, which was kind of unheard of, you know, back then, at least in the stuff that I played. It, um, uh, with Palum and Porum, uh, you know, we got to a point where you have two characters that decide to sacrifice. (laughs) There's there's two characters that sacrifice themselves and, and cast stone on themselves to stop a room from shrieking. And because they cast on themselves. You can't, um, <laughs> like you, you know, you can't cure him from it. You, you but when you talk to him, them? it lets you pick an item. So it like it like opens up and lets you try. And you spend the whole game like like trying every single item. We tried everything we could, it's and you know back. it was inevitable. But you know, he just like. Yeah, I don't it know, brought it back was, anyway. It was really, they, yeah, they did. But <laughs> it's the game overall was like a great leap forward in the genre. Yeah, yeah. this. I mean, this was really. I mean, this was. Uh, fantastic! I mean, in, I think in the U.S. first appearance of the Chocobos. Uh, yeah, is it Chocobo? Oh, I thought it was Chocobo. I always, I always called them Chocobos. Chocobo. All right, you, sorry. No, you're fine. Either way, you know. So yeah, I mostly can. read it rather than say it. I guess. Well, and it, and it's hard too with like um, with the American versions. I mean, in the Japanese ones, it's a little bit easier because the way they break up the characters, they're usually in um, like like two letter blocks or mm-hmm. you know three sometimes if it's like a CH or whatever. So. It's, you know, you can't, there's really no right. guideline in the U.S. when you see a name like that, like, really where the inflection needs to be or whatever. So. Right. It's a wonderful game. It's really good. There's yeah. lots of neat characters and things like that. But, and but and I will one say. one that I'll actually go back and play through every once in a while. Yeah, we played through it a few times. And, and I will say, anyone who's never played it that wants to play it now, the PSP version the with that has the after mm. years. Yeah, that's the story best between. way to play it. Mm. Yeah, that's it's the, the one I've translation. It's a beautiful well, update. It's, is it the difficulty... Yeah. Well, tell me about the Super Nintendo version. The translation is horrible, first so of all. So the translate, well, yeah, but it's endearing because it's a Spoonie Bart. Yeah, yeah the Spoonie, Spoonie Bart and, and, and just, yeah. And, and that's to me, I mean, that's where the line is drawn between calling it Final Fantasy 2 and Final Fantasy 4. Final Fantasy 2 is that version that was mm-hmm. released. It's, it's really, it's kind of its own beast. And coincidentally, all of the votes were for the Super NES version, so it is Final Fantasy 2. There were no, people put 4, but they put SNES, so that's invalid to Final Fantasy 2. But we still love you, listeners, and it's oh, okay. No, I, you can yeah, believe whatever I, you just, want. We're I'm, not the this king lord gods of anything. all meows. <laughs> well, maybe it's, not it's you. Such, it's such a nerd uh, <laughs> message board type fight to have about three and six and two yeah, and four. It is very picky. Nerd fight, picky. fighting yeah. nerds. Yeah. Yeah. Rules, you know, guns, they should have just words. released them all here <laughs> and given them the right numbers. <laughs> And then we and maybe that should be the podcast yeah. opening theme song right there. That's awesome. Sorry, go ahead. What Sorry, were you saying? Sorry. I oh, I was just saying they should have just released them all and had the right numbers. Has anybody here actually country? fought a p- pink puff? Have you actually yeah. fought one officially? Like, if for real, for real, in the, the room without using the game Genie or any yeah. of the codes? Yeah. I've never fought one. Yeah. Like, I have. Did you fight one in the PSP one? Okay, not on the SNES. There you I go. fought one on the SNES. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I, I actually got the, just, the, yeah, the adamant armor. Shit. They're, just, oh like, they're, they're hard to Because I, I was grinding, because so, I love that game so much. That's, I, 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 oh, gra- my God, yeah. I ground and ground and ground. And it has one of my favorite names of any monsters ever, ever, ever. The Ogapogo is the greatest name ever. <laughs> Ogapogo? Ogapogo. And the Mount yes. Boros. my daughter in her made-up language. <laughs> no, it's, it's really called Ogapogo. It's um, it's a palette swap of Leviathan and the Final That's when the Dosses. Beach Boys made their 80s comeback. Oh, see, I thought it was a band that Danny Take Elfman was in in the 80s. <laughs> I know. Did you see Jesse and the Rippers played on uh, <laughs> music Jimmy Fallon, I think? <laughs> <laughs> Take me down to Ogapogo. <laughs> It works. 12.30 is setting in. Yes, it's 12.30. You're staring I mean, it's at me like, Great game. Great that game. doesn't work. Fuck you. <laughs> no, I'm 
Well, this was fun. Like that didn't work. Why? <laughs> well, and I'll also say too, and we'll see what you guys' thoughts are on this. Um, actually, maybe you two, so you guys put it on the list. If someone hasn't you played, you did too, pal. No, I know, but um, if if someone hasn't played. Um, a Final Fantasy game, a 2D Final Fantasy game from the Super Nintendo era, would you give them two over three? Like, would two be the one you'd recommend? Even, like, including the NES ones, like, would you would you say two would be the one to, to jump I into? I don't think I could recommend a 2D Final Fantasy game. They did two... I yeah, like me. Like, I haven't played anything before 7. Yeah, and if somebody said, hey, I like 7, but, you know, if I want to play one before it, what do you recommend? I've, I've recommended, and I've had people go, I can't play it because of the graphics, and my heart just, like... Yeah, I can't. Yeah, that's yeah, right. It's, that's like, it's like, I ease them into it. It's 3, then 2, then 1. If they if it's, like, Linder... Mm-hmm. Just played the, the seven. Three? I would. So, so there, but then again, so, I didn't put it well, on the list. Well, I guess list, it's, so. it's you have to you have to preface yeah. it with like this is not going to be what you have played with before. Realize it is going to be cartoony, um, but it just you know. Right. Well, no. Oh, I mean, sorry. I've seen him play. Right. No, I've seen him play. You know, the earlier Final Fantasy games and everything, so I know what it looks like. But I mean, and, and when I complain about nine being cartoony. I'm not complaining about it in the way that the Final Fantasies before 7, like, there's a difference between, like, 16-bit graphics or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's a difference between pixel graphics and and 9 being cartoony. Like, the, the, the art style, there's a difference between them attempting to make it look realistic with pixels and then... Well, they weren't even trying to do that. They were just no. doing the best they could with what they had. And it looked like a cartoon with pixels, but that's, I mean, that's, but the, the that's completely different. Of that's nine. a video, that's a, that's a, that's a pixelated I video game this image. Is like, this slow on the list. You can't believe what? <laughs> that this is this slow on the list. Yeah. How many, how many non us votes were there? Were there any guest votes? No. There was the three of us and three regular votes. So Are you six. serious? Oh. That makes me sad, Panda. It's a bummer. Hey, like, listeners, the, the, go play this game. You get more emotion out of the, well, at least from three to seven. Three and two, you have a lot more emotion in the characters because it was easier to draw the different models. Like, your your models in seven, they don't change except for you put on a new weapon on, it, on them. They, I can't even talk anymore. It's like 12, 30. <laughs> yeah, and, and there's, there's, there's you know more goddamn Final Fantasy games later. Yeah. On. We can talk more I'll, Final I'll Fantasy later. I'll make this later. point later. <laughs> but I will say that I prefer 2 over 3 because 3 just got goofy for me. You had guys throwing dice. No, I'd lo- you had, you I'd, had Street Fighter moves in it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm the same way. I mean, I... I don't dislike it. I'm just saying it just... If, if I have to pick one, which I did pick one on this system because it, I, it was my first... It was nostalgia, and it made me love my SNES at the time. There's a lot of Final Fantasies on my list. And there's a lot in the our, like the whole list, too. But and Actually, I put both of them on my list. That was a mistake. When the, the Bomberman that, uh, that I didn't put on there that I was supposed to was actually... I was deciding between these two and forgot to throw Bomberman in in a place of one of them, and two would have been the one to beat out over three, but... But we got married to that music. No, no. That's why I would have won. No, I said two beat out three. Okay. Three three should have been Bomberman on my list. Breathe. Breathe. It's okay. (laughs) It's okay, Becky. It's okay. So that's that's part two, and uh, we got... Twice Shit, one. hell, this, how long have we been recording? Two hours, 50 minutes. Holy fuck, we might have to break this up into two pieces, don't we? Nah, we're fine. Yeah, edit it a little bit. We can bit. have some Just long ones. So, yeah, those, three there, hour there fucking podcast. Yeah, you can edit out some of the hours. Yeah, it's shorter than most of the podcasts we listen to. <laughs> Until we get up to six hours, we're fine. <laughs> oh, God, no no retro gaming round. <laughs> we, we, won't do, we won't do that long. Marathon. Just make sure you put we, in we some like retro gaming, gaming round up. We do love yeah, retro gaming round up, and I finally got my copy of CGE Adventures, so thank you guys. Mm-hmm. And we just played it. Yeah. Didn't know what we were doing, but uh, we'll, get, we'll get it soon. So uh, see you next week. Now you're playing with podcast. Hey, listeners, this is Tatton. Just wanted to take a quick moment and let you know that there's lots of great places you can follow Now You're Playing With Podcast. We have a Facebook page set up, which is Now You're Playing With Fan Page. We have a uh, Twitter account set up, which is NYPW Tweets, or Now You're Playing With Tweets. And, uh, of course, all the episodes are available for download from NowYou'rePlayingWith.com. So we hope you enjoy the show. Uh, if you like it, please uh, take a moment and send us a message. Let us know what you think about it. And uh, we hope to have some more shows coming for you soon. Until then, thanks for listening. <laughs>